Alrighty. Uh, my most uh, uh, painful omission on the last uh, uh, wrestling stream I did on the Steam Deck was the N64 Aki Engine games. Um, I don't know how I managed to, to overlook these, but I somehow did. Uh, you know, arguably some of the most famous and revered video games ever in the wrestling genre. Uh, but what we're going to do here is this is going to be a, a, a second part to the, um, the stream I did uh, two weeks ago. And we're just going to look at a different set of games, basically. there's I have so many wrestling games on the Steam Deck that we can now do a second whole stream looking at them and, and not do any repeats. Uh, uh, that's how much I have loaded it up. So obviously we're going to start right here at the top with um, uh, the one that started them all. What's my start button here on the fucking... All right, we're fucking going. Holy shit. Yeah, so this is this is an issue I keep running into with the um, the Pro Controller on the Steam Deck, and I'm, I am not sure what is triggering it versus what is not triggering it. Um, but uh, for some reason, like, the, the Pro Controller keeps assigning itself to uh player two so that means you can't do anything with it like you know what i mean you can't navigate the menus but whatever let's play some fucking let's play some goddamn uh which one is this actually this is uh revenge no world tour world tour uh let's do a tag match all right let's take it i feel like I don't, I don't take enough time uh looking at these beautiful rosters let's take a look at these these rosters here Luger, Steiner, and this is obviously the advantage I think people think the, the WCW games have over the WWF games in the Aki engine is um, uh, the rosters are obviously way more diverse on the on the WCW side. So we got Ray Jr. here in his, his fake Spider-Man mask. Uh, got all these alternate costumes. So great. We can rotate him. Eddie. Classic Eddie gear, like crappy singlets. Like, it's classic because he's Eddie and it's 1996, but it's not actually great. We got Mullet Benoit. That is a terrible Benoit, but no more than he deserves. Okay. Steven Regal. There he is, folks. This man has had some of the worst gear of all time. For, for a major, for a celebrated major league wrestler, I think Regal has had some absolutely terrible gear. If, I, if I'm being, I'll be, uh, uh, if I'm being quite honest, terrible pain, well, but also not the worst one. <laughs> Rap waffle, that is a great comment. All right, we got six here. Oh, I was about to say, why is Sting here in 1996? But this is, this is quote unquote Sting. This is like so. Basically, this is basically Jeff Farmer. Uh, that's who, that's who fake Sting was, right? In 96. Okay, let's take a look at their Hogan. Uh, not great. I feel like the faces in this game are better than they were in No Mercy. Like, like generally speaking, the Aki Engine games got progressively better uh, in terms of mechanics and, and graphics and stuff. But the faces in No Mercy are inexplicably terrible. Some of them are okay, but a lot of them are awful. I feel like even though they're not amazing, like Scott Norton, that's like, okay. Like uh, Kevin Nash, that's not a great Nash, but... It's an extremely limited system, don't get me wrong. Bischoff! Oh my god, that's a terrible Bischoff. They were very generous with Bischoff. They made him look really young here. Oh my god, <laughs> look how cool he is. <laughs> oh, terrible. Okay. Um, uh, we got some... Uh... Oh yeah, so this game so this game has Japanese wrestlers because they were in WCW at the time. But I guess they're not licensed? So they were like, okay, let's put them in, but we can't get the license, so whatever. We'll just put them in anyway under fake names. So we got Hannibal instead of Hayabusa. Uh, you know, this is Abdullah the Butcher. Um, uh, I won't embarrass myself by trying to identify the rest of them because I'm, I'm a noob who will get them all wrong. Fake Goto and Onita, says Rap Waffle. Okay, thank you. I was, was going to embarrass myself. I was going to embarrass myself by trying to identify them. Uh, great Sasuke, obviously. Um, uh, um... Is that um, uh, uh, fucking Hakushi? What's his actual name? Not his WWF name. I'm really showing myself off as a noob here. Um, do they have fake Liger in this game? They should have real Liger. Should, nah, no, probably not, actually. They, they they probably wouldn't. Okay, that's actually a smaller roster. I, for some reason, I remember this, this roster being bigger. Okay, I'm going to be Ray Jr. 
And I'm going to team with one of the fake Japanese wrestlers. Um, oh, let's, Hi Hayabusa. We got to do Ray and Hayabusa. That's actually kind of cool. Um, okay. And we will go against... Uh, We will go against Scott Hall. At very Let's go against the Outsiders. We'll just go against the Outsiders. Wait, no, that was Norton. That was Norton. Go back. Barry, go back. I picked Norton instead of Nash. Okay. Uh, there we go. Arena. Oh, Barry. Oh, my God. Uh, this game only has, like... Four arenas, unfortunately, which is a bit of sad. Uh, pin submission, da, 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 da. tag format, one out rule. Okay, I can't remember what most of this does. Uh, I don't, I don't think the WWF games had this handicap system where you could like give people a boost or or, or knock them down, as it were. How do I just start? Oh, don't tell me I've set this to. How do I start the fucking match? Oh, you know what? I've set this to fucking uh, multiplayer. Genius, Barry. I, I was too busy fucking around with the with the corner. No, back again, Barry. Okay, there we fucking go. Ray Jr. Fake Hayabusa. In my in my messing around with this stuff off air, I've made that mistake a lot. These games like default to like, uh, do you want to face other players? And I always, like, just not paying attention to what I'm doing, pick yeah, and then I get realize, oh, shit, I'm stuck on a screen because I accidentally set it to, like, two-player mode when I'm playing on my own. Alrighty. So I know these uh, these games are very iterative because a lot of the stuff that's in No Mercy, like a lot of the move-based stuff is not in this game. Like there's no running grapple in this game. So when, when people are like, oh, you know, the WCW games are better because they have better rosters, which is fair. The roster stuff is totally fair. I, I, I don't know if I can get on board with the suggestion that the games are just overall better because the... the they, made, they made good efforts in every single game to, to improve the actual gameplay. Um... Oh man, do I have set this to fucking hard? Because I, I I know how Aki Engine AI moves when it's when it's when it's not fucking around, and this this guy ain't fucking around. Get fucked. One. Nice. Obviously, not being a WCW kid, this is I I think I probably played this game the least. Um. But revisiting it as I got older, there there is a certain charm to the presentation of the WCW ones that I think you don't really have in the WWF ones because, um, those sound effects are funny. Oh shit! I don't know how to do this. I don't. Is I, I'm just mashing buttons. I don't know how to do this mechanic. This is not in No Mercy, which is the one I played the most. Oh, we're just doing we're doing sick chain wrestling. This is awesome. Oh, do a John Cena style shoulder charge, but yeah, I I I played WrestleMania 2000 and No Mercy, No Mercy the most obviously. Um, yes, I figured out how to tag. Hell yeah, oh, I missed. Okay. Got him eventually. Oh, nice. Got him again. Okay. Way to go, Hayabusa. Kevin Nash! Letting Hayabusa get all his shit in. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, but like I was saying, this is, this is you know... I think the, the WWF games obviously looked better, but they still, even at the time, they did not, they did not look very good. Do you know what I mean? So I think there's a, a more humbleness to the the presentation of this game that I kind of appreciate. Kevin Nash hit me with all these strong grapples here. I'm not, I am not holding out hope here for Hayabusa. Ray, get in and help me. Uh, 
uh, to further expose my my noobness, I will say that I have not played any of the Japanese uh, Aki Engine games because a common talking point I've heard a lot on the internet over the years is, oh, well, they did get iteratively better, but they made extra Japanese ones after No Mercy. So if you want to play the real best one, I think Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 was the last one. I might be mistaken. Ray, stop him from fucking interfering. Jesus, thank you. Oh, Scott Hall has no interest in breaking up this pin, so... Referee's losing all control of this one. Do my JR impression. Well, it, uh, I mean, if he can grab the damn tag rope, Scott Hall should be not in the referee. Rick Knox, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, shit, I just hit my own guy. <laughs> oh, Ray, I'm sorry. Hayabusa's already holding his ribs. Kevin Nash has been... Kevin Nash is OP in this game because, like, Hayabusa, I've taken, like, three moves. I know, I just turned heel on Ray, but in true WCW fashion, the match is just continuing. All right. See if, see if we can hit an apron move this time. Come on, Ray. Yes. Yes. There we go. Fisherman. Oh. One, one, thing, one thing about uh, these games. Um, animation. Oh, get fucked, Nash. Oh, I got my special somehow. Alright. What would his special be in this game? I got like a Hurricane Rana, I'm imagining. Oh, no. Oh, no, power bomb! A fucking Liger bomb! Oh, he's in the ropes. Shit. No, he doesn't have a rope finisher. Okay. Again, another thing they added in the later games was when you have a special. Um, you can, you have a special move from, like, every... Wait, what? That was not even a one count? What are you talking about? Like, in No Mercy, when you're Jericho, you, you have a special grapple, but you also have a special, uh, move you can do when they're on the ground, which is the walls of Jericho, you know? That, that stuff's really cool. In this game, you know, they just added little things like that that, that really enhanced each game, which we will see in, in the next few minutes when I get to, uh... Alright, when I get to, um... Revenge, and then WrestleMania, and then No Mercy. Uh, if you have not seen it before, by the way, uh, the... Um, oh, shit. This is the second part of a video I did two weeks ago where I did... Um, a, lot of the, a lot of the heavy hitters from the past. Uh, I did SmackDown, Attitude, Def Jam Fight for New York... Um, NES Pro Wrestling. Oh, shit. Now he's got a special. As you would expect, this is a pretty great match. He's he's not doing his special. He's choosing to put an arm ringer on me. Okay. No, don't let him tag. He's nearly dead, so don't let him tag. Can I drag? Can you drag in this game? Oh, fuck off. Got him. All right. Yeah, these guys... They, they, a lot of kicking out going on here. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, he goaded me in. He was playing possum. Oh, fuck you. Hey, well, Nash, you can go into my corner then. Okay, not the right corner, Ray, but whatever. I mean, obviously, kind of goes without saying, but um, uh, emulation performance is like basically perfect for the N64. On the Steam Deck. Yeah. 
I have noticed some graphical glitches on the uh, on the Aki games. Um, in particular, uh, you may have actually seen there while I was doing my opening blabbling. Blabbling? That's not even a word. Babbling is the fucking word I'm looking for. Is that a rope break? Kevin Nash, Kevin Nash will not fucking... Neither of these guys are going to fucking stay down for me. This is in the ropes again, Ray. One. What is going on? Holy shit. Hayabusa, you are not legal, sir. I do not know why you're fucking... Alright, let's fucking hit this guy with a fucking top rope move and let's fucking put him away. Hell yes! Now, Ray, now, now, now. One, two, three. Yes, there we go, there we go. Nash did not want to do business. Holy shit! God fucking damn, Nash did not, did not want to do business there. Let me open up a beverage here. It is just a Coke. I don't have any beer in the house at the moment. But um, I've noticed, you might have noticed while I was babbling there, trying to get my controller fixed as I was booting up this stream, as the company names were, were flashing on the screen for this game, some of them were kind of glitched. Uh, I don't know what causes that. Um, you can get rid of that by switching your emulators, but I think o other than that issue, uh, I've had no issues at all. That, that's the kind of thing about emulation. You will bump into certain graphical anomalies, and if they're small enough, you can just go, eh, whatever. Uh, for example, when you're playing SSX3, not a wrestling game, I know, but when you play that on the GameCube emulator, there's a little artifacting on the opening video, like the EA Sports logo and stuff. But the main game is fine. So it's one of those things where it's like, well, I can Google it and try and fix it, or I can just ignore it if it's if it's if it's insignificant. If it's a massive issue that's affecting the gameplay, obviously I you know I would try and tackle it. But that's um that is World Tour. Uh let's go straight into revenge here. No, this is not. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um. So revenge again, similar game, just kind of iterative. Um. Uh. We might see some of the yeah. So see these glitches here where where the text is all fucked up. I don't know what causes this, but it doesn't manifest in the game, and it only manifests on some of the logos. So I am right now using a um retro arch N sixty four core. You can use a standalone N64 core, um, not part of RetroArch, and that tends to improve the um, accuracy and get rid of the glitches, um, where you then lose the kind of built-in bonuses you get from using RetroArch, like save states and stuff like that. So, I've never seen this opening video before, so let's watch it together. This is like the Resident Evil 2 opening. And it was the same year, in fact. It was 1998, so... Oh, speaking. By the way, I was um, I mentioned earlier that this is my this is my second wrestling Steam Deck stream in in, in a while. The first one got locked in copyright hell for like three days. Um, is that a fucking chainsaw? Oh, no, it's a baseball bat. Okay, it's Sting. Oh my god, that is actually a pretty scary sk the Sting. Sting Hogan. What? Oh, this is the greatest Aki engine opening ever. This is better than No Mercy. <laughs> Hot. Oh, we got Goldberg in this one. Hell yeah. Yeah, I know. Revenge, revenge is generally the better regarded of the two. Because, like I said, each of these games got like slightly better each time. Do you know what I mean? So, like. World Tour is cool and all, but it's limited. It is limited. Uh, but yeah, so uh, my last wrestling stream got uh, copyrighted for a couple of days. So folks who are watching this on YouTube, if you see any jump cuts, that's possibly because I cut out any live-action footage. So what got me the copyright strike last time was the 
the full motion video intro to Attitude on the PlayStation 1, which is just like a WWF sizzle reel with their, um, with the Raw theme on it. Um, so I will probably just try and skip any full motion video stuff on this stream. Uh, but if you are watching on YouTube and you see any jump cuts, that is that is probably just me cutting out any... I'll try, I'll try and keep it super minimum because I hate, I hate cutting stuff out for that shitty reason. But it is unfortunately a practical reality of, of streaming stuff. Um, but yeah, it was like it was like 20 seconds of video in, in Attitude for PS1. And they locked my, my video for like three days while I disputed the copyright. It was very annoying. It was very annoying. Yeah, Fight Forever might have a might have an uh, in-engine intro because I feel like I feel like in-engine stuff is kind of coming back in a big way. Very, I feel like very few cutscenes are actually canned and and, and pre-made these days. They, a lot of them do seem to be uh, in in in-engine, you know. Because when you see people doing PC mods where they mod character models and stuff, that stuff gets reflected in the cutscenes because it's usually in en in-engine. That's pretty cool. It's funny that this is post Starcade. Because this is 1998, and Sting, obviously, by the red paint, is in the Wolfpack. But they are still pushing Sting Hogan as the big match you would want to do in this game, you know? One sec. You can do costume change. So again, this is where you can fuck around with your character models, and it'll be uh, reflected in the. Uh, it'll be reflected in the. In, in the and in engine intro these are the only special matches you can do battle royale or handicap obviously wrestlemania 2000 added the cage and then no mercy added the ladder let's go to exhibition here let's do a single match this time uh no christmas venues let's just do star arcades since i guess you know that's december i guess uh one player versus the computer barry okay let's take a look at this roster nwo white there's one thing I like about this game is that it categorizes everyone by their factions. Whereas the WWF games just have them kind of categorized by who's a main eventer and who's not, basically. Hogan, giant. Oh my god, that is a great giant face. Can I zoom in? I can. Oh yeah! Yeah! Brian Adams. Pretty good Scott Hall. That's a pretty good Scott Hall. Not as good Scott Norton. Pretty good buff. Even more generous Bischoff than the last game. Look, they've made this guy look like Giga Chad. This is not realistic at all. Pretty good Steiner. Uh, Nash, Sting, Luger, Savage, Conan. Oh, we got we'll be Conan at some stage. Uh, Raven, Lodi. <laughs> that is a pretty good Lodi. It's a pretty good Lodi. Riggs, Sick Boy, Reese. Who was Sam Shaw in TNA? He was a fake one of these on that TNA ECW show. Was it Sick Boy? They basically, when, when TNA did one of their ECW tribute shows, they had someone from Raven's Flock do a run-in on Tommy Dreamer. But it was not, it, they couldn't get the real guy. I think it was Sick Boy. And so Sam Shaw, who he, or who is now Dexter Loomis, um, he was like a, you know, a newbie prospect in TNA. So they had him just dress up like this guy and go out and do a run in. I can't. I, I think it was Sick Boy. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, Page. Go. Oh, that's a pretty good Goldberg face. Like it's kind of funny, but it's pretty. It, that's what Goldberg does. You know, heart. Ben. That's terrible. Ben. Again, not the worst. Uh, Rick Steiner. Finley. Booker T. Van Hammer. Glacier. Bulldog. Oh god, 98 WCW Bulldog. Oh my god. Jim Neinhart. Disco. We're not playing as him. Saturn. Oh, we got some licenses here. We got Yuji Nagata licensed with his actual name. Uh, Larry Zbysko, La Parka, Stevie Ray. Here are our cruisers. We got Jericho, Eddie, Psychosis, Rey Mysterio Jr., Dean Malenko, Juventud, Ultimo Dragon, Chavo Jr. Oh, that's right. That's a terrible Chavo Jr. face. Oh my goodness. Uh, Aki Man, Shogun. Okay, a bunch of bullshit fake EWF characters. Jekyll. I love that these guys are pre-made. I have not made these. These are guys who were just pre-made in here. Hanzo Man, Ming Chi, Rikaus. What is going on with this dude's face? Dake Ken, Dake Ken, Kim Chi, Hawk Hanna. 
Okay, so not as big a... Well, no, it's a bigger roster, but I feel like they didn't get as many... I guess they didn't put any, like, fake, unlicensed dressers in here. They they stuck to who they... Are. Let's be... Um, no, I want to be... I want to be... I want to be K-Dog. And let's go against Nagata. Oh, multiple gear options for Nagata. Hell yeah! No blue, funnily enough. Um, no D... Wait. No DQ, yes. Which means it is no DQ. Am I reading that correctly, right? So I can hit him with stuff and we're, we're going to be okay. Okay, I hope that's right. Okay, they did not get the they did not get the wolf pack theme. That's very annoying. Yeah, so this is the uh, WrestleMania 2000 has this as well. These are full entrances. For some reason, No Mercy did not have full entrances. I I I think I was, I was actually just reading about it the other day, but I can't remember what the reasoning was given. Um. Oh, uh, we got Sonny Ono, of course. Alrighty. Oh, straight away, straight away, this feels more like the, the Aki games you know. This was obviously the evolution. This was the game where they... They got it together. Oh, beautiful dive by K-Dog! Oh, I'm actually fucking Nagata up. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, no DQ, yes! Uh, no blood in this game, I'm fairly sure. Yeah, you can see all the... these. So many of these animations they kept for WrestleMania and... Uh, and No Mercy. They changed... They changed licensed company but they kept the fucking they kept a lot of the animations K-Dog absolutely annihilating Nagata here <laughs> this is getting nasty this is not false count anywhere but I'm just I'm just putting him in a submission on the ramp here why not Oh god, what is this? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I guess it is false count. What? I guess if you do no DQ, it's false count anywhere? What? Okie dokie. I squashed Yuji the god. Let's play another match because that was very quick. Oh, that's false. I'm supposed to be entering my name. Whatever. I'll be double A. Alright. Uh, single. Do a match at Nitro. See that real Nitro stage. Um, let's be big, sexy. I feel like I'm never, I'm never Kevin Nash in these games. Oh, you can be, you can be Hulk, you can be Pasta Mania Hogan. Uh, let's, let's just go against normal Hogan. Uh, no, no, um, no Wolfpack theme is criminal. Aki, everyone says your games are great, but what are you what are you doing here? Oh, they couldn't get the NWO music either, but they WCW owned that stuff, right? Jimmy Hart, can, like they owned it. Because when WWF bought them, they got all those songs, didn't they? That's crazy to me. That is crazy. See if we can do another squash match here. Hogan getting absolutely fucked up here. Nash <laughs> says suck it as he does in real life. Can Nash do a dive? He can! Whoa! <laughs> 
take that, Jim Cornette. Five moves, including the hair flick. You don't know anything, buddy. Oh, God, am I going to make Hogan tap on the floor? Every match is going to end on the floor. It says Mayhem should have the music. Well, I didn't do Mayhem last time, so... I guess I might look at it this time. Oh, God. WCW PlayStation games, though. So bad. Just fuck up Bishop for, Bishop for a while. Oh, Hogan's about to come back because I was getting in the ring. Oh, get fucked, Hogan! <laughs> yeah, classic Big Sexy. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We love Kevin Nash, don't we, folks? Hogan, look at Hogan shriveling down and cowering before Nash. Do, it, do the hair flick. Ah, oh, he doesn't do it in this game. All right. Start working the leg for some reason, Nash. Do a German. Oh, God, I'm making a tap out here. Oh, my God. I just killed Hulk Hogan. I just, like, listen to that sound effect. I just snapped his fucking neck. Oh, my God. The Aki engine, uh, 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 like, tap out noise is grotesque. It really is. Alrighty. That's, uh, I, I feel like these games are generally harder. Although, I, I haven't checked any of the settings on this. So, this game might, by default, just be set to a really easy difficulty. I don't know. Uh, I didn't do my usual disclaimer that I do on these emulation streams, which is um, I'm not really going to be talking through the setup here. This is just, um, this is basically just seeing how the games run, and we know they're going to run really well because the Steam Deck runs them really well. Uh, but I'm not going to be talking through setup or anything at all like that. I think once I get to the PS2 stuff where things get a bit more challenging... I may look at one or two settings, just anecdotally, that I've come across. But I will link the guide I use. Um, uh, I will link that in the YouTube description. So if you're watching this on YouTube, it's there. Uh, if you're watching this live and you don't want to wait for the YouTube upload, if you go look at the previous wrestling stream I did, the link is in that as well. All right, now we're on to the WWF games. And this game is uh, this game's kind of similar to the SmackDown series because like this and No Mercy came out the same calendar year, and so did SmackDown One and SmackDown Two. It's really weird to think about. Um, that first SmackDown game is kind of different to SmackDown Two, like kind of like these Aki Engine games. There's a lot of things that you might think of as second nature from SmackDown Two that are not in SmackDown One. They were they were adding some stuff to these games with a relatively quick turnaround. Tortured Soul, Kane. And obviously SmackDown 1 kind of focuses more on like late 99 WWF and then SmackDown 2 is 2000. Um, same with WrestleMania 2000 and No Mercy. Like WrestleMania 2000 is more of a 1999. So it's kind of like this is the game from the peak of their popularity but also like some of their hokiest and worst TV. Yeah, see, look, they're recreating the fucking Stephanie thing. Austin killing everyone. Toughest SOB. Godfather and his ladies. <laughs> A sexy showstopper. Yeah, SmackDown 1 and 2 is, is, is really impressive. Because, like, SmackDown 2 also just had, like... SmackDown 2 had way more modes and stuff. Like, in SmackDown 1, you have, um, 
like normal matches and hardcore and like a cage and that's it and then smackdown 2 added 10 million backstage areas and uh uh tlc matches hell in a cell like they they added a bunch of stuff in that second game and like i said mechanically smackdown 2 is it, i don't want to say mechanically it's super different but they added a lot to it this video goes and goes holy shit I love how in their own Aki Engine way they are recreating like the raw video where Austin's walking around some fucking um, uh, uh, you know basement or warehouse with explosions happening all around him. Alrighty. Uh, once we get later into the stream, there are some games I want to take a look at the career modes for, but for these, I just don't think they're especially interesting, so we won't uh, we won't bother. Okay, so they added three ways and cage matches. The cage matches. I I won't do a cage match just because the cage matches in the Aki games are unbearable. It, we, we'll be here forever trying to get out of it. Let's do a three-way, though. King of the Ring, why not? Uh, um, okay, let's take a look at this roster. All the usuals here, cage makes sense, fine. Shane, Vince, Shamrock, Jericho. So again, this game in SmackDown 1, they, you know, they were... They just about got Jericho in, which was a nice touch. Uh, Test, boss man. All the attitude mid-card staples, you know. The Hardys. Ross, Albert, Blackman, Thrasher, Chaz. Too cool in this game in their original gimmick. Meet Sean Stasiak, Blue Meanie. This is an odd roster. This is an odd roster. Uh, the women, the very limited women's roster they had at the time. You're, you're, you're like producers and stuff, uh, you know. And then your creative characters, of which we have none. Uh, yeah, this is not a great roster when you really look at it. Um, let's be Rock, and we'll go again. Oh, look, they got fucking. I want to be that actually. They got Rumble '99 Rock. Yeah, let's be Rumble '99 Rock, and we'll go against Big Show. Just two outfits for Big Show. Oh, sorry, it's a three-way. Um, oh, they you can change Undertaker's eyes. Look at that! Look at that second one. Oh, the absolute the absolute worst era of Undertaker. Like late '99 Undertaker, or just '99 Undertaker in general. Uh, bloodshed. Yes, finally we get into the blood territory. Um, uh, okay. All right, here we go. Oh, the light's going out. You smell what the rock is I mean... These, these entrances, even at the time, because, like, we SmackDown was out by the time I played this game. So these entrances with these absolutely horrible themes and, and the animated GIF entrance video, they just couldn't hang. They could not compare to SmackDown. No matter how much deeper and better these games are than the SmackDown games, the surface-level feature set blew away these games. Like, look at this video, quote unquote video. Like it's terrible. It is terrible. It's the big show. Pretty good Undertaker theme, though. What version is this? I don't remember that. I don't remember a spoken word intro where he said, Except the Lord of Dar Darkness. Like, yeah, that's the theme. The theme is good. The theme is one of the better Jim Johnston joints ever, but I don't, I don't remember that version. 
That's the funny thing about wrestling games. Though. They're an odd time capsule. Bait. If that's the theme he used for three weeks on Raw when they were finalizing the roster, then that's what gets in the game, you know? All right, we'll skip the rest of this. We get it. We get it. Uh, by the way, making this three-way was not a deliberate reference to the fact that these two were a terrible tag team once. Taker and Big Show. Oh, God. Taker's fucking... Taker's goddamn fucking stand-up show. I guess it's not technically comedy, is it? He's just... It's... it's it's hey, do you remember when I was did this storyline? Oh, that was interesting. Oh, how did that rock just suplexing Big Show? <laughs> yeah, let's just let's get the big man out of here, Undertaker, and then you and I can just have it out. Rock is throwing a Big Show all over the fucking place here. Oh, I forgot. Rock's like Rock can just do people's elbow as a move in these games. <laughs> Undertaker, how dare you? All right, let's, let's, hell yeah. It's not elimination, so I think Undertaker will probably, uh, he'll probably try and break up these submissions at some point. No, Rock, stop. I keep forgetting. Stop doing this. Also, you have to you have to manually do the little jump. Like when you're when you're Rock, you have to manually press the button to jump over Big Show yourself. Like he doesn't automatically do it. It's terrible. It's a terrible system. Undertaker has not looked at the Rock literally once during this match. Like we are just killing the Big Show. Oh my god. Oh, he's about to come back, Undertaker. Stop him. <laughs> oh, Aki. Ah, Taker, come on down. Oh, no, he's turning on me. I knew he would. Big Show. There, yeah, there we go. Big Show, let's get, let's get this fucking Undertaker guy. No, I did it again, lads. I, that's now three times I've done this. I Three times I've done this. Okay. I keep looking over my shoulder because I'm worried the dog will want to come into the office, which she's allowed to do. But, like, if she tries to get in, I want to let her in. The door is open, but she's she's an oddball. She won't just... Ah, oh, shit. She won't just let herself in, you know? Okay. None of them slow smooth to low blow. Yeah, Big Show, you and I, I, I never liked that Undertaker guy. Let's fucking get him. The Rock never did that. The Rock never did that. What the fuck? Undertaker, I have my finish, okay? Hit him, Big Show. Okay. I'll just do a fucking DDT, I guess. Hit him. Oh, oh, how is that too, ref? Wake the fuck up. See, if I hit him, for some reason I had to hit him with a DDT because I grappled him from behind. How is this man alive? Big Show is getting fucked up. Big Show is just getting fucked up. You better not try and pin him, Undertaker. I'm not having that shit. Get fucked. Get absolutely fucked, you asshole. You, I'm going to let you do your fancy fucking pin on him. I mean, Big Show, you and I are still not friends. Don't get me wrong, but... <laughs> Fuck off, Undertaker! Yes! Let's get him, Big Show! He's a fucker, isn't he? He's a fucker, Paul! Oh, Paul! Oh, shit! 
Oh, no. Don't even think about it. You pair of arseholes. Don't even... Don't even fucking think about it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Undertaker, let's get this fucking ungrateful arsehole. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. Undertaker, you're not... You're, it's, I'm not... No, Undertaker, you're, it's not fucking happening. Undertaker, you're next. So you just stand there and wait for your fucking turn to get rock bottomed. Motherfucker, you are not pinning him off of my move. No fucking way. Okay, I'll just have to come to DDT you. That's fine. Pin Big Show, please. There we go. I did it on my own, but no one's help. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? All right. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? I uh, will call that one there. All right, let's jump on to uh, No Mercy here. So, I mean, the the as with the last wrestling uh, uh, stream with emulation, the short version when it comes to emulation on Steam Deck is that everything works basically perfectly. Um, you, you notice some little graphical anomalies there on um, uh, the WCW games when you're booting them up. Um, again, super minor, so I don't care. But you can you can fix them if you are so inclined. You can switch your emulator to a more accurate one. Um, I just like the one that I'm using. Uh, but if you want to switch in the name of like 100% accuracy, you can do that. Like there's options. The thing about the great thing about emulation is for a lot of consoles, especially older consoles, is there are multiple types um, uh, of emulator for each. So you are able to like switch your emulator if you're having issues with one over the other. You know. Oh man, watching this intro video Christmas morning, the year 2000. Mwah. Mwah. Thank you, Santa Claus. And like straight away, you can tell we're into 2000. We got the Backlash Arena, we got Jericho, we got Angle, we got Taz, we got the APA, the Hardy Boys. Too cool in their actual gimmick that we all know and love. I have tons of nostalgia for this video, but now that we're watching them all in sequence, I think the WCW Revenge uh, video is way better. It's 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 way more uh, uh, fantastically choreographed, you know. It's funny that the intro video kind of alludes to the Hell in a Cell match. They got they got Triple H pedigreeing Cactus Jack in a cage, but there's no actual cell in this game. It's just a, it's a general cage. Folks, do we smell it? You know what? Just to do something different here, because I want to just do like different things in each of these games, uh, and not just do the, just do a singles match in every single. Um, uh, uh, no mercy note found. No mercy requires thirty five pages and one note saved. I don't remember this at all. What the fuck is a note? So yeah, just to do something different for this game, let's do the survival mode in, in just a second here. But look at all these unlockables. Shawn Michaels, Cactus Jack, Ken Shamrock, Ho oh, for 500,000. Earl Hebner, the Armageddon Arena, the Backlash Arena, barbed wire, and then a bunch of weapons and stuff. And then also like moves and outfits to customize, uh, to add to your, your wrestlers, which I thought is a nice touch. Uh, let's just, let's just like see how, how long I can go on the old, um, uh, on the old, um, 
Slo what is it called? Slobber knocker, or is it just called survival? So in SmackDown, uh, it was called Slobber knocker, but in this, um, it's called survival. And so this is basically just like an ongoing Royal Rumble that will go forever if you if you are good enough. Um, um, and you can unlock characters by eliminating them in this. Um, I was gonna send out a, a tweet that we are still live. In about. They're five bull, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ken Shamrock is in this game. You can get him in this mode. All right. All righty. Um. Survival. What arena? Gotta go for the SmackDown. I mean, the all-time, the all-time great arena. Uh, okay, the rules not selectable. Um, oh, who is good for this kind of mode? Um, oh, let's let's pick a main eventer, I suppose. What kind of goofy outfit can we put Austin in? Let's put him in his stupid camo hat. So yeah, this plays out like a like a standard Royal Rumble in these games, but it basically goes forever. And the further you go, the more unlocks you get. So it's a great it's a great way to like skip a lot of the bullshit to get unlocks. Let's see who I'm up against first. Okay, one of the Hardys. One of the one of the Hollies. And one of the right essentials. I'm skipping the entrance. We'll find out in a second. Fight! Hardcore. Okay. Uh, let's see if I still remember the, the, the tricks to getting people eliminated. I probably don't. Oh, missed him. Wait, you you were all why are you all looking at fool, get out of here. There we go, alright. There we go, alright. Don't even fucking look at me, Matt Hardy. Alright. So that's one. That's one. Oh shit! I'm already up to a bad start. One thing, one thing this game did have that SmackDown 2 did not was uh, this version of Kane. Don't even, don't look at me, Matt. Eliminated. All right. All right. Not a great, but I, like I was saying earlier, I, I think the face has got a little bit of a downgrade in No Mercy, to be honest. Oh, you fucker. All that just because I said your face got downgraded. There you go, get fucked. Eliminated. And another thing, another good thing to do is taunt when they're eliminated, because then you can just um, build up your special meter, you know? It's all coming back to me, boys. It's all coming back to me. Unaki, get out of here! Eliminated. Yeah. Hardcore, don't even think about it. All right. Yeah, like like having badass Undertaker in these games was 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 great. Like, cause, cause that's that's the type of thing you did care about. Like, I suppose people probably still do. It's kind of like you know, what what gimmick are these people in still matters. Do you know what I mean? The game the games get ridiculed when they're not they're not up to date. Oh, Dilo, you fucker. <gasps> do not eliminate me, Dilo! Oh, I, I didn't do a strong grapple, so I couldn't special him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh! You bastards. I think every 10 eliminations, you get a special wrestler. So I think... Fuck you. It's all going wrong for me here. Dilo, you're causing trouble, so I got I gotta get you out of here, because you're 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 gonna get me out. Get fucked. Alright. Nope. No my god! If 
I don't unlock one character doing this, I'm going to be really annoyed. All right, here we go, here we go. Hardcore, stop looking at me, stop looking at me. <gasps> stop looking at me, you pair of bastards. Oh my god, okay. You know, get back. No, get out. All right, all right. No, god damn it. I was, I had a good flow going there, and fucking D-Lo's after really fucking me up here. God damn it. Jobberton, thank you very much for following. Welcome to the Barry Lad Twitch follow gang. Or whatever it is I have Nick Gage saying there at the, at, the, at, the, at the sound alert. Oh, you prick. Get out. Come on. I was able to do this when I was fucking 10. Eliminated. I was about to say Jeff, but of course they, they do have Lita in this game and they do, they do have intergender. Oh my god. Ah, shit. Shades of that angle in 2001 when fucking Triple H and Austin beat the shit out of Lita. Alright. Alright. Well, we're, we're, we're getting our rhythm back here a little bit. No fucking way. No way are you strong grappling me, Al Snow. Not in this fucking video game. Get fucked, idiot. Eliminated. <laughs> See, Austin is good for this mode because his strong strike is that lunging uh, clothesline attack. Oh, God damn it. Careful, Steve. It's the lethal weapon. I think part part of the part of the trick of this mode and the and the um, Royal Rumble modes is like just knowing the rhythm of the animations and stuff, and knowing when it's time to get sexual also. Oh, Matt Hardy eliminated someone! Oh shit, the CPU, the AIs are turning on each other. Drink a Steve Wiser. Drink a Steve Wiser. I am, I am not as good at a, a Steve Austin impersonation as uh, as NL Johnny. It was Johnny who did the really good impression, right? I'm not mixing up my I'm not mixing up my new legacy boys. No, I am mixing them up. It wasn't Johnny. Oh, I'm terribly out of I'm terribly out of practice. See you, Matt. Also, have some middle fingers. One of the stupid items you're gonna lock in this game is a big Steve Weiser can. Also, I recall that, and I really wanted it as a kid. I don't know why. I, you know, I just, I guess, I thought it was hilarious. Mark Henry getting fucked up here. He, he, he wasn't getting any booking respect in 2000, so it's fine. Taka not doing much better. Oh, I take it back. I lost my special. I was too busy fucking shit talking Taka. Uh, Godfather, you're doing a little too well for my liking. Let's uh, let's uh, stop that from happening. Ah, oh, see, I didn't I didn't time the animation right. There we go. Here we go. This is gonna be Gerald Briscoe. Yes. Okay. So you know, you get you, you get a couple of shitty unlocks before you get you know Ken Shamrock, which is who I really want. I mean, Jerry Briscoe, you know what? Uh, Taka, fuck off. <gasps> Ooh, Taka. If you had eliminated me there, I would be booking a singles match between you and I right now. Oh, jeez. Austin, okay. People have realized, okay, Austin's doing too well here. Why is everyone going for me other than I'm doing really well? Damn it. All right, let's just pin Mark Henry because he's, he's, he's taken a beating already, so... I know if I hit him with the stunner, I'll probably be all right. There we go. All right. Why should I do the taunt? I did not mean to do the taunt. One, two, three, eliminated. Get out of here. 
I would love if this mode was in Fight Forever. With Punk being that you have to be, be like 180 people before you get Punk. This reminds me of the one very brief but pretty fun uh, Eddie Guerrero Austin match on SmackDown in 2000. Austin put it on one of his DVDs uh, shortly after Eddie died. I think because he had recently passed. Eliminated. But he spoke about it very earnestly like it did mean a lot to him. Oh shit. I was about to say, did Ron Simmons and Steve Austin ever have a, a match? But they almost certainly did during, like, the corporate ministry year. Oh shit, here we go. Not a great rock face at all. Not a great rock face at all. Hey, Briscoe, let's get you out of here. The whole point of this stream, or this part of the stream, was to fucking unlock characters. And I'm too busy fucking wrestling Mark Henry. Oh, fuck you, asshole. Giving Briscoe and, like, all the joke characters Hogan's music in these games was a very weird bit. But I appreciate it anyway. Uh, yes, Austin as an unlockable in, in SmackDown 2 was crazy. And it's still crazy today. Like, like whenever I revisit it for, like, emulation purposes, I'm like, oh, fuck, I have to fucking unlock Austin. Uh, I believe if you rotate the stick really vigorously, you can steal a... Oh, Taka, you fucker! I believe you are able to, to steal finishers in this game. Uh, if you rotate the stick really fast when you're doing a grapple, you can, you can do their finish. Isn't this how you unlock Linda? I, I think I think so. I think I think you can unlock basically every character this way, um, except um, the ones in the shop. You have to just buy. There's no way you can get them other than buying them, like Michaels and the hoe and stuff. But you get so much money from doing this successfully that you can kind of you can kind of speed that process up by doing this, you know. Come on, Austin. How do, how do these work? I think you can block those individual punches. I think. This. No. 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 Too close to the ropes. Too close to the ropes. Don't like it, Taz. You're a great commentator, but get out. See ya. Eliminated. The baker. Oh, Lawler. Oh, hell yeah. We're getting all the freaks. So is Lawler's, like, king theme that he uses in WWE, is that, is that not, like, a, a general, like, stock theme? Because he never, I don't think he ever has it in these games. Obviously, he didn't, so like he's got the gener generic like raw theme. Um, although I suppose the thing about stock themes is even though they are stock themes, WWE still has to pay to use them. Uh, there is that one game, I think it's Shut Your Mouth, where they inexplicably do not have the Hardys music. Um, even though it's a stock theme, and it's like, well, you have to pay for a stock theme, and you can't just put it in a video game. So I guess they, for that particular year, I guess they lost the franchise. You're being a pain in my ass here when I'm trying to talk. That's right. I accidentally hit you, but it was on purpose. No! Fuck off, Bradshaw! Oh my god. Fucking King about to pin the rock in the year 2000. That's it. Get back in, Bradshaw. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, go back out. Eliminated. Yes, let's get this nuts. Come on, Rock. No, don't turn to me, Rock. Come on now. Oh, shit. There we go. All right. Eliminated.
I did have, I have like a lot of other games I want to get to, but like, <laughs> I may just be doing this for a couple of hours. I also, I may also get eliminated sooner than I'm expecting. I'm surprised I've gotten this far though. I've got 18 eliminations, which is not bad. Wait, no, have I got 18 eliminations or is it 18 people have been in? No, it's 18 eliminations. It's 18 eliminations. Yeah, then I say Rio I'm surprised they haven't recycled it because they, they... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. When they, when they, like, certain teams would go out of circulation and they'd kind of sneak them back in. Like, obviously, they gave, uh, like, what was it? Ernest Miller's had Brodus's Clay, Brodus Clay's team first. And, and somehow they never brought S.A. Rios' team back. I mean, yeah, the, the, the general decline of their, of, of WWF's or WWE's uh, theme making in general has been, has been very disappointing to follow. I think the funny thing about it is kind of like, oh, get fucked, Road Dog. Um, Eliminated. In like 15 years when the current crop of WWE guys are doing their nostalgia runs, are fans going to pop for their, their current themes? Because they're so, they're so un-iconic. Do you know what I mean? It's like, you listen to these, and obviously, look, it's just because, you, you know, it's partly because you know and like the wrestlers, but it's also partly because the themes are really good. Oh, well, here he is. Up to no good, as usual. Oh, shit! Yeah, I remember watching the last Royal Rumble, and I, obviously having not watched a lot of WWE lately, I was like, oh, like, this is bad, which it was. I mean, I think, I think, I think everyone kind of agreed it was bad. But I remember, like, watching it and going, oh, no one's over. And that's not just me being a filthy casual who doesn't know. I'm like, no, no one's reacting to any of this music. And part of that is the music, you know what I mean? Because even if you do know the wrestler, like, how the fuck are you supposed to know half of those, half of those songs? That was one of the more depressing rumbles they've ever done. I mean, it, it wasn't as famous. It, it wasn't as, like, infamously terrible as 2015, but this year's was, was horrible. I mean, it was really bad. Um, who's been in here a while? SA, you've been in here a while? Oh, Rock's been in here a while, actually. All right. There we go. All right. All right, there we go. Sorry, Rock. Eliminated. I'll see if I can unlock one or two more characters, and then I might just eliminate myself. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, get out, Mr. Bloom. All right, Shane. This is an this is an unlock. <laughs> yeah, I love the story of Al Albert being a grass. Just him in particular being the person to kind of know about that stuff is funny. The whole Mandy situation. One, two, three. All righty, Shane, straight out. Get fucked. Rest in piss. Just like 2022, you were shit canned. Uh, it's a British Bulldog, where's my title shot? Blah. The most inscrutable man in 1999 WWF. Just completely impossible to understand. Gene's Bulldog is such a funny inclusion in this game because he's a real he's a real time capsule of like the worst Oh the worst like individual run of like any major wrestler ever. I don't think Albert would have paid for the rating. I don't know. I mean, he's on good money is my understanding, but I don't think he would have paid. I don't think he would have paid. How much was she charging for that, dare I ask? This is not a test, by the way. I'm not trying to trick people by finding out if they know. But I am curious how much Mandy is uh, charging for the old rates. It is funny that, that like everyone knew about that. That was being that, that was being talked about for weeks and weeks and weeks online. 
before eventually someone allegedly Albert like went to the office and fucking basically ratted her out by all accounts but everyone knew she was doing it very funny that that was so well known alright let's get Triple H out of here cause he's gonna, he's gonna cause trouble oh look at fucking Triple H thank you that is that Triple H face model is one of the worst faces in any wrestling game I'm fairly sure like, you got a nice close-up of it there during his entrance. Like, I don't know why the most prolific wrestler, one of the most prolific, maybe the most prolific heel of 1999 and 2000 WWF, got one of the worst face models during the peak of, of, of WWF in this video game. Now, admittedly, look, they're at the engine games. They're very limited. It's the N64. You do what you can do, but, like... Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Okay. But, like... It's pretty bad. It's pretty fucking bad. Like, the Dean Malenko and the, the Viscera face models here are fucking better than, than Triple H's oh shit. No, Malenko, I don't think so, sir. I'm Steve Austin. You are a member of the Radicals. You are getting ahead of yourself, sir. Yes! Ah! Don't puff your chest out at me! Can we get one more in? Can we get one more in? We will, we will, we will. Oh, Jeff Hardy! Eliminated! Oh, this is an unlock, right? This guy is... Uh, boss Man is not unlocked by default in this game, I'm pretty sure. No, Jeff! You motherfucker! Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Get fucked, arsehole. Oh, you little prick. No, no, nobody's pinning Dean Malenko except me! No! Oh, you assholes! Oh, boss man, you are fucked for that. God damn, that's annoying! Stole my fucking pin! We'll, we'll eliminate boss man and then we'll get ourselves eliminated and we'll see what we get for, for our, our, our troubles. And then we'll move on to another system. Oh shit, Jeff! Oh, I'm not doing great right now. Alright, yeah, Jeff, let's get Bossman out of here. Come on. No, Bossman. No, Bossman. By the way, one of the one of the systems I was having troubles with on um, the last um, wrestling. Oh shit! Not happening, Crash. Sorry. Not happening, boss man. No way are you fucking strong grappling me. Get fucked. One of the games I was having trouble with on the last stream was uh, Royal Rumble for Dreamcast. Uh, fingers crossed, but I believe I've solved that issue. I've played some of it off air, so we will test that um, after this game. What are you doing? Get out! Get, 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 get fucked, boss man! Oh! Yes, finally. There we go. Eliminated. All right, let's just get ourselves eliminated here. Free elimination here. Steve Austin standing on the apron. Make yourselves a star, kids. There you go. 
game over. All right, let's save here, because I actually do want to save my progress. I was talking to the um, link to the cast, lads. Uh, we were doing our game of the year stuff recently. And uh, I was talking to them about emulating this game in particular and how um, uh, the good thing about this being emulated is you don't have to worry about losing your save data, as best I can tell. Because that was a, I think that was a physical fault with the with the carts uh, and nothing else. So we should have, yes, okay, so we've got, oh, so Patterson, Briscoe, uh, Jim Ross, and Jerry Lawler are one character. Um, Shane and Vince are separate characters, which I'm actually surprised by. Let's, let's do a save state here real quick. Alrighty. Alrighty, that's that's the N64 wrestling offerings that I have here. Uh, let us do some Dreamcast. Since, like I said, for what I think I had, I think I said this on the last stream. I think I had the wrong file type um, downloaded for um, Royal Rumble. It should now work. If it doesn't, I'll be very annoyed. Um, hey, it works. There we go. Uh, Royal Rumble for the Dreamcast. One of the most inscrutable video games I've ever played. I have no. After all these years, I have no clue how to play this fucking game. I boot it up and it's like the first time I've played it all over again. I do not know how you play this game. <laughs> it's like, I remember my buddy got a Dreamcast and he actually gave me a PS1, which is very nice of him. He got a Dreamcast and he got this game because he, we, we were massive wrestling fans. He was one of the main people who got me into wrestling. And we played this game the day he got his Dreamcast and we were so fucking confused. We were like, what is this game? What is this game? Um... Uh, I believe there's an FMV video, which I will skip to avoid a copyright strike. For those of you joining late, I did um, uh, I did uh, a stream two weeks ago where I played some other uh, classic wrestling games on the Steam Deck. And the intro video for Attitude on the PS1 got me like a copyright violation on, on YouTube. So I got to skip all full motion intros. Uh, so this was, I believe this was an arcade game, and it looks and feels like an arcade game um, that they ported. To, like like a lot of great things on Dreamcast, not, this isn't great, but like a lot of things on, on Dreamcast, this was a um, an arcade port. Um, so it's, it's, so it kind of is high res Smackdown, like it kind of is. Because it's, it's, it's very Smackdown-y, you'll see once we jump into the game here. It is very Smackdown, don't get me wrong. Um... We just did a rumble type thing, so. Uh, let's be. Oh god, what a what a roster, lads! Oh my god. Let's be rock and sock. The the uh, the gameplay is very SmackDown. It's very SmackDown, but like, Like, look at these, like, what am I picking here? What does this mean? What is this fucking Marvel vs. Capcom shit? What am I picking? Trash can attack. Okay. This game is very odd. And like I said, I never saw this in arcades. But this is, a, this is apparently an arcade port. Oh. Oh, see, like, 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 part of the gimmick here is that for every match you have a, what, what, how do I, he keeps calling in his partner, I don't know how to call in my partner. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. All right, now I called my partner, but what does that? Okay. Oh, he give me a weapon. Okay, excellent. Get fucked, Taz. Yeah, here we go. Uh, this controls way worse than it looks. Can I just say that? If you're wondering why I keep turning around and like facing the other direction, it's because this controls not well. What is happening? We gotta run in. What is happening? <laughs> They're leaving again. What? They just came in. Oh. 
Oh, there we go. Hell yeah. Okay. Thank you, mankind, for coming in. More run-ins. Kurt Angle in the Big Show running in for some reason. What is fucking going on? Holy shit, the referee's down. Okay. Where am I? Oh, there I am. This is what I mean by this game is unscrutable. Also, again, if you're wondering why I keep turning around, like, like pressing the directional buttons causes you to attack in that direction. Do, do you get what I mean? So you're not just, like, in a normal game like SmackDown, you are just constantly looking at your opponent and your directional button changes the type of attack you do. But in this one, for some reason... Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Okay. Like... Like, who did Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy just run into help? I do not know. Get fucked, Taz. How do I do a special? I have no fucking clue how I do a special in this game. Christ, Jericho just will not stay out. How do I pin? Okay, that's not a pin. So, folks, I said I, I, fa I couldn't get this... Oh, I remember this from when we were playing as kids. So this game will just randomly summon you backstage, by the way. Uh, so we're having a backstage match now. Ow. Oh, I got steamed. Oh, I'm getting steamed again. Okay, run towards Rock. Please stop. Okay, run. Okay, fight him. Okay. How do I do a goddamn special move? What is that? Time up. Time up, everyone. Time up. Did I win? Or is that a draw? That is somehow a win, I guess because by traditional arcade fighting game rules, we did more damage, I guess? Folks, that is Royal Rumble on the Dreamcast. I couldn't get it working last time I streamed, so I just wanted to show it to prove that I could get it working. <laughs> I have no desire to play any more of that. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're done with that. Never to speak of again. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Um. Let's do, let's do mayhem here because we didn't do that. Um. Uh, we didn't do that last time. Uh, we'll do mayhem and then I'm trying to think what are the other systems we have to do. Uh, GameCube, PS2, and Xbox. Uh, so we're not going to do too much PS1 stuff because we we covered a lot of PS1 ground on last stream again. If you didn't see it. It's on my YouTube, uh, about three and a half hours of um, of um, wrestling games on Steam, Nick. And we got a lot of the heavy hitters on that one, and any ones that we missed we're covering on this one. So um, we'll take a quick look at Mayhem and just see, just see what it looks like, you know. Hell yeah. That's a pretty cool idea. Ah, uh, yes, the, the tail end of WCW logo. Okay, people, you know the drill. Let's get the show on the road. Arena ready. 50 seconds to air. Announcers. Tony and Bobby, go. We're live and on the air with all the okay, superstars. Okay, 40, 40 seconds, seconds to air. All right, let's fill this place. We're going hot on the platform. Three, two, this is This is the most PS1 intro you've ever seen. Oh, transition to FMV. Hell yeah. Oh, they're doing, they're, they're literally doing, if you could, if you could make a wrestler in a, in a, in a lab, it would be Randy Orton, but it's not going to be Randy Orton, it's going to be Goldberg, isn't it? They're talking about his rankings, his stats. That is a really good Goldberg for a PS1, holy shit. Oh no, no, shut it off, you're going to kill us all with this Goldberg. <laughs> Literally, literally, it's Doom Guy. It's Doomberg. Oh, that's kind of sick. Let's be honest. This is kind of fucking class. Let's be really honest with ourselves. This is cool. Oh my god, they got the taser. They got the fucking Starcade 98 clip in there. That's great. Goldberg is so prominently featured in the marketing of this, and they made sure to get in him getting cattle prodded. This is fucking great. I can't wait to see the gameplay, which is definitely going to be bad. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, 
Uh, let's who do, who did we play in Revenge and they didn't have their licensed music? Uh, NWO Wolfpack. Let's they although there wouldn't be any Wolfpack in this game, would there? Uh, let's be Hogan and let's see if Hogan has his his proper music. Scanning memory cards. I do not have any. I do not have any save. Uh, you will use one block. Sure. Uh, okay. Quick start main event. What's the fucking main event? Is that a... S oh, it's just okay. Singles. No limit. Oh, Saturday night? We can do it. We can do a match at Saturday night. That's actually kind of cool. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, let's do easy because I'm not... I don't know how to play this, so let's just do easy. Um, Pin anywhere. Rope breaks off. Run-ins on. Why not? Sure. Fine. One versus CPU. Alrighty. Uh... Let's be Goldberg, man of the moment. I haven't been Goldberg on one of these streams yet, now that I think about it. And let's go against Hogan. Um, wait, Hogan was in Wolfpack? Ah, oh, whatever. I can't be arsed getting into the fucking... Into the lore. The NWO lore. I just can't. Um... Let's see what the entrances look like in this game. I'm imagining they'll be like Thunder, which will be... Oh, here we go. Shit. Okay, Irish Whip. Grapple move. Uh, block is L1, run is R1, taunt is R2, finisher is square, just square on its own? Okay. R1 and a directional button is Irish whip? What the fuck? Okay, R1, run, R2, taunt, square, finish, move, L1, block. Okay, those are the main ones, those are the main ones, okay. Ladies and gentlemen and wrestling fans of all ages, welcome. That's an alright Saturday night stage. There will be no time limit. Now, making his way to the ring, a man who relies on action, not words, he is the master of the jackhammer, Goldberg. Anything on this next wrestler? I remember when this guy started out, he showed a lot of promise. And I still think he could surprise some people. Bang on the money! Okay, those are very, those are not Goldberg specific remarks, but that's fine. The ring announcer, that, there was no way that was real Bruce Buffer, right? Okay, so they got the real Wolfpack theme. Okay, so the, the N64 games did not have any of the licensed music, but it looks like Sony Sony ponied up for their version, did they? I don't know. Presentation-wise, this is pretty good. Like, like this is... Oh, me, Gene, of course, yeah. I, I knew, of course, Buffer wasn't going to do a fucking WCW video game. I don't know why I thought that. Okay, folks, there's the bell. Let's see if this one lives up to the hype. You know, Tony, the fans have waited a long, long time to see this match. Oh, do a little spin kick, Goldberg. Oh, shit. Oh, Hogan's getting fucked up. Wow, these men are laying it all on the line tonight. Double axe handle. You know, I can't believe that a WCW caliber wrestler would keep using that same move again. Tony, get fucked. I just started, all right? I'm fucking trying my best here. Oh, the, okay, the animations are a little bit janky when you move from, like, head to foot or whatever, but that's fine. you can to escape. I don't care if it means an eye gouge, a handful of hair, a Oh, he's, he's having a little stare down there? Okay. Elbow! Oh, here we go, here we go. What on earth is he going to do now? Well, I don't know, because Hogan ran away. Okay, I guess not. Okay, and I guess Goldberg can't just do a running spear. That'd be too easy, right? Irish whip. Goldberg, brother, what are you doing in this video game? Elbow! Standing drop kick! Yes, that's the same move again, but you can't argue with success. <laughs> Shivani is giving me endless shit here. Brother, I'm just trying to win the match. Who cares what moves I do? Here's a new move, Shivani. It's a snap that suplex. Like are you happy now? That looked like it really hurt. Hope he's got good insurance. He's got him on the run now. He doesn't have good insurance, Tony. He's a wrestler, all right? Oh, my God. How do I pin? That's the next question. Yeah, I'm Goldberg. Yeah, I'm Goldberg. Too much strutting, not enough wrestling. Tony. Sh dude, Come shut on. the fuck up. Pin the hammer dagger. The Rebel Press! 
great move. Okay, I can turn him around if I want. Oh, man. Hogan said, fuck this. Oh, he better not be getting a chair. Hogan, you better... Oh, you better not be getting... Oh, Hogan. He's going for some additional help. This is ridiculous. He's bringing that weapon of his into the ring. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. Oh. Goldberg, Goldberg, pick up the chair. Into the ring. Goldberg, Goldberg, pick up the chair, please. Ah! Goldberg, pick up the chair, brother. No, pick up the chair, brother. Goldberg, pick up the chair, brother. Oh, shit. Now he's got it going. Looks like he's going to take this fight outside. Oh, my. That must have done some serious damage. Goldberg, pick this up the chair, man. Somebody stop this. That's not bad strategy. Go with what's successful and keep your opponent reeling. Oh my, that must have done some serious damage. Looks like he's hurt badly. Someone call the match off. <laughs> oh, chiropractor. Because he's gonna need one. Or a plumber. Oh now you big Get fucked, Hogan. Look at that animation! Him with the chair. How do you fucking how do you pit in this goddamn game? Oh Shonka! Hogan with the fan Jaminator! <laughs> Why is this game great? This is absolute oh. him! What a brutal assault! No, pin him, you fucker. Pin him, you fucker! Oh my fucking god. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Laying on back, laying on back. L1? I'm pressing L1. You cannot be serious. Okay, whatever. Wow, good thing he didn't connect with that one. I can't believe they're not stopping the match after that attack. Incredible athleticism on display here. Today. Finally. Oh, what an earfall. What an earfall. Take a lot to put him down for the count. Oh my god. He's working with the sunglasses, but Hogan is somehow keeping them on for all these sick drop kicks and van terminators he's doing. I'd have to say that he's been stunned by what's gone on so far. That stunned him. Now he needs to get the cobweb. Alright, tap Hogan. Tap Hogan. to one of the greatest spectacles in all of professional wrestling. Oh, this is something. Hollywood Hogan really took that run. Goldberg, stop going up on the fucking top rope. He's gone completely out of control. He just picked up a chair. Goldberg is doing some serious... Oh, what a swing. This guy's got some kids that need water. Oh, oh my God. This is a great match. I, this is better than any of the matches they had in real life. Except the George Dome, obviously, but, you know, but... Now that's an impressive crowd talk. Oh, on the chair. Write it down. Other than that, kick him right between the eyes. Oh, Hogan, Hogan, Hogan ain't saying now for that shit. I thought it was over. This doesn't look good at all. It sure doesn't. Come on. Goldberg is all set for the big finish. Two, he's stunned. Look at him. He just can't believe his opponent kicked out of that count. What a match this is. I was not even planning to play this until we got here. This is unbelievable. Submission, in case you didn't know, folks. Hogan, tap for the love of Christ. Uh-oh, this doesn't look good. Someone better check on him. He really got nailed with that weapon. Swing and a miss with the weapon. That oh shit! Him in the next week. And he answers back with a Come tremendous on. move. This is getting 
completely out of control. Oh my god. Someone better check on him. He really got nailed with that weapon. Please stay down. Two. My, that was an awfully close call. His opponent's like one of those crash dummies. You can slam him around all day, but Oh my god. Like they're trying to Oh he just fucking dropped the leg on me. Oh. He's really making this him and Edgar earn his money tonight. Wow. Wait to pose until he's announced that he's the winner. Snap suplex. Goldberg oh, this is like it, oh, this game is incredibly contact. stiff. Like it is the stiffest what fucking thing. What's going on here? This can't be good. He hit him with the chair. Swing and a miss with Oh, he's oh, he just popped up. And a timely counter by Hogan. Hogan, please pin you're me. If you're not going to stay down, down, please pin me. What do. He'll reverse your hold that quick. You go down after one punch, oh my, which is so funny. What's though. going on here? No, Hollywood, no, brother. Elbow. Spinning back kick. Oh, what a move. All right, I, I, I think we'll call that game there. This is going to go on forever. Okay, that's fucking... Uh, that is mayhem on the PS1. I wasn't planning to do too much PS1, but... Um, uh, let's not do PS2 just yet because we we did a lot of PS2 last time. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go to GameCube here, and we'll go in chronological order. Let's start with the very bad WrestleMania 18. Um, I remember reading a magazine with uh, a Just Bring It SmackDown Just Bring It feature. Um, that was the main game they looked at, but they did also have a, a lesser features on Raw and um, WrestleMania. And, um, I mean, I thought SmackDown looked like the worst of the three of them. And that's kind of hilarious in hindsight because Raw, which we'll get to later on this stream, is a terrible game. I mean, it's a terrible game. And this is a pretty bad game. This is, I, I don't think this game is terrible, but it's, it's, it's pretty bad. And SmackDown just bring it, while I was disappointed with it at the time, because I was expecting some kind of gigantic leap forward on the PS2, um, it was still good. Like, it was still a SmackDown game on PS2, you know what I mean? Um, uh, but it blew away these two games. But I think these two games, the GameCube and Xbox games were graphically a, a lot, they had a lot more wow factor. We're going to get another FMV video here. I have to skip. Yes, we are. Let's skip that to avoid any copyright antics. Uh, for WrestleMania 19, we will do the goofy uh, fucking story mode. Um, exhibition. Let's do a single. I have no idea what the hell in a cell looks like in this game. Let's do it. And let's do it. Let's do it at Survivor Series 2001, I guess. All right. Um, let's be Farouk. And we'll face Matt Hardy. The legendary feud culminating in, in, in Hell in a Cell. Farouk versus Matt Hardy. Uh, my under I, I didn't have a GameCube, but my understanding of the GameCube games is that they, while this was fairly bad, they did get progressively better. Um, so this is pretty bad. WrestleMania 19 is okay with a really wacky, fun story mode. And then the Day of Reckoning games are really well regarded. I've, I've played a little bit of Day of Reckoning uh, recently uh, because that's like a big gap in my in my backlog. And they're pretty good. They, I can see why people kind of revere them as they are somewhat spiritual successors to uh, the Aki engine. And I think they do a decent job. I think they do a decent job. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing a bit more of them on this. Okay, so this is this is what I was talking about earlier. I guess in 2002, WWE lost the Hardy Boy theme rights because in Sh in SmackDown, shut your mouth. They also do not have it. I don't know. I don't know what caused that. Oh, I'm getting killed. I I do not know how to play this game. I will say that. I'll say that right off the bat. I do not know how to play this game. I keep taunting instead of attacking. Okay, that's run. Oh, 
That's pretty meaty. That's a pretty meaty uh, uh, sound effect. Get up, Farouk. Come on. You're not going to let Matt Hardy of all people punk you. Matt freaking Hardy. Two words. Come on. Look at how big this area is. Holy shit. How do I get out of this? I assume you can get out of this, but I don't... Uh... Come on, Farouk. There we go. I don't see any doors or anything on this. Oh man, this music is bad. <laughs> this music is horrible. I want, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Oh shit! I'm trying to whip him into the cage to see if it does anything. Are there controls? No, there are not controls. I feel like every time I play this game, I do that. I go, "Hey, how, do, how the fuck do I play?" And the menu is like, "Nope, figure it out, loser." No pins outside the ring, I guess. Yeah, where's our damn commentary? Yukes. Oh shit! Fucking hit me the special! I can... Also, look at the UI at the top of the screen. What? Who is... Like, apparently I'm doing bad, but like... How the fuck would you know? I guess I lost. I guess I lost. <laughs> okay. The presentation on this is drier than a bone because there's no commentary and the music is super low and bad. Uh, but that's WrestleMania 18. Let's do, another, let's do another match here. See if we can figure out the fucking controls. Um, is there... Let's look, at, let's look at the options. See if we can get a fucking... Nothing, absolutely nothing that you can look at the controls for. All right, uh, let's do a um, get wild here. Let's do a fucking four way fucking hardcore match. I'm not gonna be able to figure out how to pick up weapons, but whatever. Let's turn off the entrances because life is too short. Okay, I'll be Triple H. Let's just do the big boys. Let's do let's do the heavy hitters here. Look at that picture of Triple H. What a what a highly specific Triple H picture that is. All right. Oh, they got short hair Undertaker. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I just threw it at his fucking head. <laughs> Oh, this is chaotic. This is chaotic. Oh my god. Catch Austin. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe this game's alright. Maybe it's alright. Oh, an elbow drop to my tummy. How do you counter in this game? How do you play this game? Oh my god, I do not know. Uh, Rock's getting fucking tombstoned already. Okay, Austin knows how to counter, which is a problem. Ow, oh, shit. There's probably not blood in this game, right? I have to imagine there's not blood in this, because it... Oh, man! You can do moves... You can do moves onto weapons. Look, that's... Whoa! That's always a bonus in my in my book, if you can if you can do moves onto weapons. 
All right, let me get out of the ring here real quick. Why, why do I exit the ring like fucking Kane or The Undertaker? Oh, shit. Yeah, get in that fucking table. Can I climb the table? Yeah! <laughs> I'm the game! Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, what was that move even? Oh, my God. Oh, this music is horrible, man. It is fucking so bad. Catch, Austin. <laughs> I love throwing it. The animation is really good. Suplex on the chair. Hell yeah. Genuinely, any 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 time a game like lets you actually do moves on chair on like spontaneously do moves on weapons is actually really cool. Oh shit! Okay, I guess Austin had his finisher. I guess Austin had his finisher. Oh shit! Uh, so this game is Kai. See, you know, again, to my to my ignorant feel, you know, just going off of um, my limited experience uh, emulating it. This game is kind of doing a, a faux SmackDown thing. Oh, I have a finisher saved. Okay, hang on. Oh, Austin says no. I'm not taking that. It doesn't work for me, brother. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. Look at the dents on that trash can. But yeah, this kind of feels like a faster smack. Oh, no. Who's getting pinned? Who's getting pinned? Um, There was a double pin situation going on there. This game kind of has a faster, arcadier smackdown kind of feel. To it. Or maybe not faster. For this era, this is like comparable to what mainline smackdown was doing, but... How the fuck do you pin in this game is my next question. I have no idea how I'm doing certain moves. Like you just, you, you grapple them and they just sort of pick a move for you to do. I have no idea what's causing that. How do you do finishers? Oh, there you go. Okay, I guess I'm doing one. Wait, I gotta look up how to pin. Let me let me quickly Google how to pin. Because I actually, if I can win this, it'll all be worth it. How to pin WrestleMania X8. Okay, IGN wiki guide. Basics. Oh, yes. Okay, I accept your fucking... Where is Pin? Oh my god, where is Pin? Oh my god, they don't have fucking... They don't have pinning! You sons of bitches, IGN. Walk analog stick, run Y, grapple... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, you sons of bitches. Pin is Z? Which one is Z? Oh, that's the that's right bumper on this, I think. Yes. Oh my God, Austin! After all of that, after all of that. All right, now that I'm getting the hang of this, this is this is kind of stupid, goofy fun. Although emphasis emphasis on the stupid, I will say that. One, 
Can I get extra weapons from under the ring? No. Yeah! Undertaker won and he's loving it. He's loving it. Oh, they got rolling in this game for sure, right? Let's hear. I, I, I'll hear one note and then I'll skip so I don't get copyrighted. Yeah, they got it. Okay. All right, that's WrestleMania 18. Uh, it seems pretty limited, but, uh, you know, for the time. All righty. Um, does this game have commentary? Oh, no, you know what? I've actually... So this game came out the same year as Here Comes the Pain. And WrestleMania 19 has... WrestleMania 19 on the GameCube and Raw 2 on the Xbox and SmackDown Here Comes the Pain, they all have the same music. I guess this year, universally, they just decided we're not doing commentary, we're just doing... And no, extremely obnoxious background music, and so they all have the same music. It's funny, though, because the one thing that doesn't hold up about Here Comes the Pain, one of the greatest wrestling games ever, is the music. Like, there's not even any ironic or nostalgic joy to be gleaned from it. So, of course, it's the music that all three of these games have, but whatever. You know, it's 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 the music they got, whatever, you know. Uh, WrestleMania 19, uh, this one I remember being reviewed moderately better than 18... I think it was still considered the weakest of the three games between SmackDown Raw 2, which was actually a decent game. And uh, we'll skip this FMV again. Uh, I think it was still considered the weakest. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look up a quick fix here on the aspect ratio because it keeps changing. And that's that's only a problem I run into on the, um, on the GameCube wrestling games. But let me just, I, have to, I can never remember my shortcuts here, so I'm going to look up the Retro Game Core Guide. Um... Uh, toggle aspect ratio, start and right. Okay. Yeah. Force four by three, that's better. Okay. Oh, tutorial. I'm glad you made it. You've got a tough road ahead of you. Go ahead and choose a training exercise. Holy shit, it's fucking Al Snow. Are you serious? I did not know this was here. I probably, I don't know if I'm going to bother doing any of this, but. Let me teach you some basic offense defense, and reversal techniques that are commonly used in matches. Oh, I, I, I guess we are. I didn't mean to click through to it, but... Um, okay, I guess, we'll, I guess we'll figure out how to do reversals here. Blocking. Okay. Here we go. Push the R button to block an opponent's heavy attack. No, 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 no! No, 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 no! No good! Alright, there we go. Alright, there we go. Look at the little Al Snow cam at the bottom. That is hilarious. Here we go. Try it again. I am trying. God damn. Try it again. How have I how is this not a well known maybe maybe it is a well known wrestling like internet wrestling meme, but the Al Snow reaction for your fucking tutorial is really funny. Well it wasn't horrible, but it was pretty close. Alright. Uh, heavy grapple reversal. Are okay. You ready? Yeah. So this 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 absolutely must be a tough enough thing that they're doing. No, 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 no. No good. Oh, the timing is tough. Fight Holy shit! Oh, Barry, you're stinking here. You are stinking. Oh no, I got it. Okay, okay. Wait, I got all three of those. What? Oh, I don't know how this works at all. Alrighty. Okay, I think I'm getting to grips with this. Okay. Okay. Weapon attack. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. I like that you can actually just... I like that you can actually just pick which thing you want to be tutorialized on. That's actually kind of good. Um... This Al Snow menu thing is so fucking funny. Holy shit. Okay. Let's take a look. All right. Let's let's. I'm, I'm gonna do because I'm gonna jump into the story mode here. This is the one kind of the one thing I recall being memed quite a lot about this game was the the hilarious story. Um. Are you 
Hold the control stick down and tap the A button to perform a pin move. Okay, excellent. Are you ready? Okay, excellent. I love that you can actually... This is like super fast as well. You can just jump in and out of the... This is actually really good. Are you ready? Nice. Okay, okay, okay. I actually love this tutorial system. This is this is shockingly good. Uh, all right, those are the basics. Let's do the let's do the story mode here. So the story mode here, I can't remember the story justification. We'll see it in a few minutes, I guess. But you're like you're like a guy who gets fired from WWE, and so you have to like break into WrestleMania or something. And so and so like you're like um like fighting backstage workers to try and get into WWE. It's it's very wacky. And I remember reading about it. I remember seeing pictures of it in magazines going, this is bizarre. This is so crazy. Um, uh, oh, let's be Cena. No, let's be... Hmm. Oh, let's be Brock. Let's be Brock here. In his alt costume, I guess. Vince gave us strict orders to escort you off the premises. Yeah, now that your contract's terminated, make sure you don't show your face around here again, unless you want another beat. How realistic, except Brock would not be thrown out by security guards. Babyface Stephanie, Follow me. Uh, going against your dad. In your eyes. Maybe we can help each other out. See, I can offer you a chance to get back at the very man who ruined your career. I devised a plan to hit him where he will feel it the most. WrestleMania 19. And if WrestleMania doesn't take place... Uh, Stephanie, can we get you to step a little bit further back from the fucking microphone recording these VO lines? Because they sound terrible. There are several missions you need to carry Also, Each one Stephanie McMahon colluding to get her dad ousted from a company? Ha, <laughs> that doesn't sound very realistic. Am I right? cash for each objective you complete. Sorry. This contract will guarantee your payments. See, I remember just like seeing clips of these on on the internet, uh, these cutscenes, and also seeing like look at this fucking menu. It's like go and fuck up these places that Vince is trying to 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 run WrestleMania. Let's start with the construction site, I guess. Prevent the workers from constructing the arena. A licensed WWE product had a storyline where you got fired by Vince. So you decided to, like, fuck up the construction workers. Also, they don't build arenas for WrestleMania, okay? It's not the fucking World Cup, okay? They go to existing arenas. Anyway, let's just fucking go. Getting rid of... The best way to opponent is to toss off a ledge on Irish Whip. I didn't learn how to do an Irish Whip shit. Oh, God, this is dreadful. Here comes the pain music. Within the time limit, throw the... Con <laughs> throw the workers off the construction site platform! <laughs> No, don't pin him, Brock. Oh, this camera, boys. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, my God. I love it. Can I pick up this barrel? I can. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is great. Are there any more? Oh, shit! Oh, the camera angle. Oh, no, I can... Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, that's my own fault. You have a, you have a camera stick barrier. You can, oh, no, you're not tossing me off the fucking side, asshole. Oh, this is fucking great. Holy shit. Get up! Fucking choking him out with a barbed wire stick. Holy shit. Oh, he's had enough. He's had enough. No, Brock. Come on. He's had enough, mate. He's had enough. No, Brock! 
No! Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, there's a guy coming. Oh, no, here he is. Get fucked. Oh, my God, he's hanging up. Brock's like, get fucked, get fucked. Eliminated. Oh, my God, this is amazing. This is like, like I said, I, I, had, I had heard about this mode in the past, but it's even better than I was led to believe. Oh, please let me, oh, please let me have the option to, like, belly to belly them off the side. Please let that be a thing you can do. Oh, this is great. This is so good. This is so good. Yes! Suplex! Yes! Oh. Not at, not, not at five and on Brock. Oh, you little fucker. Get fucked. Eliminated. Oh, there's more coming. Let me meet you. Let me meet you halfway, brother. Pokemon, Precision Fury, thank you very much for joining me for the greatest. The greatest story mode ever in, in a video game. This is also, like, I'll, I think I'll do a regular match after this, because this also, like, feels better to control than I was expecting. Oh, God, Brock. Oh! <laughs> God! Oh, Brock. How did you do a finisher in this game? Oh no, I, I already did a finisher, didn't I? How did I? I can't remember how I did that. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just absolutely murdering this man. Oh, Brock. He's had enough, Brock. He's had enough. That is a te that looks okay. I know this is low hanging fruit, but that looks like Parker Boudreaux. That does not look like Brock Lesnar. Oh, the camera is inverted as well. Oh my god. Oh, oh, a little, little bit of spice here. I like how for like the the kind of. You know, SmackDown really felt like the flagship series at this stage, but I like for this one, they were just kind of like, let's do some fun, weird shit, you know? Oh my god, Brock is just kicking the fuck out of this guy. Pick the weapon up, Brock. Pick the weapon up. There we go. Jesus Christ, he bloodied him with it. Oh my god! Get up, arsehole. He's not going to tap Brock. He's a construction worker. Why are you putting him in a submission? Oh, he's had enough. He's like, okay, please. I, I'll, I won't work for Vince McMahon anymore. I promise. Submit. <laughs> oh, he can He can submit. This is great. This is fucking great. I want to do a full playthrough of this now. I won't, but I want to. That is not a very good Brock model, you know, but but the one the one in here comes the pain is a little bit better. All right, I earned cash from doing that. I can't stop playing until I have to climb the fence. Okay, is that is that in the construction mall or is that somewhere else? I'll, I'll go. Let's go to the parking lot. 
destroy the cars. Oh my god. Construction. Okay, I'll go back to construction after this. Okay. Oh my god, this is great. Through the car! Put them through the car! Sorry, oh, the camera being inverted is really no. Can I change that? No, I cannot. Okay. <laughs> I like the bone crunching on each drop. That's great. Also, I, I keep forgetting that that's, this is the point of what we're doing here, but uh, if it's not already obvious, this is a, a very, really, like, seamless emulation experience. Of the of the of that generation, the uh, GameCube, PS2, and Xbox generation. Um, get off the fucking car block. The the GameCube is easily the the, the easiest to emulate. Uh, so this is. Oh shit! Oh, Brock Lesnar, fucking. Oh, how do I do that? Okay, how do I do that while facing the car? Throw him over your shoulder at the car, Brock. Him over here. Oh, you asshole. Uh, this is. I think this is running at 2x resolution. Uh, but yeah, it is running flawlessly. No, don't send him there, Brock. Send him over this way. There we go. There we go. This is not really putting someone through the car, Brock, though. Can you just... Okay, that didn't count, but that's fine. Oh, shit! Here we go! What an animation! What an animation! Oh, the camera is not great. If you want me, come and get me, idiot. God, this guy has a family, bro! I don't give a shit about his kids. Right. Oh, you fucker. Brock, don't stand for this. Brock, come on. This is ruthless. Look at this stupid video game. This is so funny. Oh, I can just kick the fucking car? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Brock. He's just getting killed. He's not even getting moved on the car. Get on the car, you asshole. 
There we go. All right. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Smash well, it counts as smash. Wait! Failed. No, his car got destroyed. What difference does it make who who? Oh, I get put through his car, and Vince suddenly loves it. Boo! Video game. Boo! That's fucking great. That's fucking great. I'm gonna do a little save state here, and I'm actually gonna come back to this in my spare time. Yeah, excellent. Save state done. Again, the magic of emulation. Uh, save states. Uh, fantastic. I actually, that was really, really fun. I'm gonna come back to that. Uh, we will move on to Day of Reckoning. I played a little bit of Day of Reckoning, uh, when I was testing emulation on the Xbox. Um, there's a later part of this game where you have to swing from chain to chain like you were Donkey Kong swinging on vines. <laughs> oh, God. That's like super, that's like genuinely like quite creative and fun. Like fair play to them for doing something different. Um, so yeah, the Day of Reckoning games, uh, I tested them a little bit when I was setting up the emulators on Xbox. And they seem really cool. Like I had heard that they are kind of um, spiritual successors to um, to the Aki games. And I, and I can feel that in the controls. Um, I don't think they have as wacky a story. you got to create a character as well. Let's just jump straight into a wacky... Uh, let's just do a four-way like TLC or something. Oh, no arenas. How dare you, video game. Why is Heat locked? House show? That's actually kind of cool. Oh, they've got... They've got like... Post Hollywood Rock, the character they've got like 2004 Rock. Randy Orton. The problem I have with with the Day of Reckoning games in my limited testing with them is the same problem I have with the SmackDown versus Raw early games. It's just that the rosters aren't that good. You know what I mean? It's after a lot of guys left. It's before a lot of new guys came in. Uh, you know, got the Bashams. Bald Molly Holly. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, there's... What is there, like, 20 guys in this game? Uh, let's be... Uh, let's be Orton. Uh, Cena. Piper. No, Triple H. And... Let's go... Let's go with 04 Rock. I didn't look at any tutorials for this shit, so there's no way I'm gonna figure out how to play the ladder. Pokemon says they felt more like the N64 games, but they were also more janky. That's fair enough. So one game we're going to get to shortly uh, is Raw 2 on the Xbox. And I think Raw 2 is actually a slightly underrated game. It's a very good Xbox equivalent of Here Comes the Pain. But it has one major problem. One major bit of jank that I think stops it from being great. And that's the enemy AI. It's like impossible to have a great match in Raw 2. Uh, because the AI is just not there. Um, the Xbox... I mean, so... We'll talk more about the Xbox emulation when we get there, but it, uh, in general, that emulator is still very much a work in progress. So you can't you can't play everything on it, unfortunately. This looks really good, by the way. This is a, this is a good 04 Orton. Uh, let's blow through the rest of these entrances here. That is a pretty good Cena. Yeah, I like it. All right, yeah, that's pretty good. The classic video game, wrestling video game graphics test, the Triple H hair, the old cliche. Pretty good Triple H. Comp comp comparable to Here Comes Pain. Probably better looking than Here Comes Pain, actually. Wait, why are they using the class year 2000 remix of his song? 
he had his slightly worse 2001 theme in this period. But I'm glad that they have the better one here. I'm not trying to be a rock music nerd, but you know. These character models are really good looking, by the way. They are, they, these are really... The GameCube The GameCube definitely had more more uh, graphical chops than the PlayStation 2. There's no doubt about it. I forgot I was playing as Orton for a second. How do I look, how do I look at the rock? Okay. I grappled him, so that's fine. Okay, the controls seem fairly similar to um, to WrestleMania. Oh shit, it's popping off in that ring. Ah, oh, breakable weapons. Come on, game. Oh, what are these camera angles? Holy shit. Come out here and fight me, Cena. Okay, these these controls feel basically the same as um as WrestleMania. Oh shit. No, I'm not I'm not I'm not taking that five knuckle crap, Cena. Get to fuck. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no pinfalls, Orton. No pinfalls. Two ladders, holy shit. Oh, Cena does not Cena does not want to fight me. He's just like, I'm getting out of this fucking ring. No weapons left under the ring, okay. Pretty good random episode of SmackDown that you'd get these four guys in a TLC match. Yeah, breaking a table in the first 10 seconds, no less. Oh my god, the rock just turned inside out when I did that. That's pretty good. See you, Triple H. I'm just fucking... Orton's just fucking... Get fucked, everyone. Get fucked. Oh, shit. Oh, Triple H. Eat shit. Randy Orton running wild with the baby face fire here. Oh, you can break up moves in this game. Hell yeah. So I'm noticing a lot of repeat soundtracks uh, across these games because this song I, I recognize this song from the um, from the I think the first Smack SmackDown vs Raw game. Oh, these these matches with weapons seem very chaotic. Orton, why are you doing sick toe holes when Triple H is about to win the fucking match? Oh, motherfucker! All right, let's let's try and do a singles match to try and get a, a, a less chaotic. Um, see if we can get like a little less chaos and get a better uh, a better understanding of the mechanics here. We'll still do a weapons match though. Let's do a Hell in a Cell actually, because the Hell in a Cell we did at WrestleMania 18 was was terrible. First, oh, you can put first blood in a Hell in a Cell match on? That's actually kind of cool. Uh, let's be let's be Triple H for this one. It's Triple H versus Eddie. All right. This this game looks nice. I gotta say.
Nice. You can take out the... I love this. See, I love all physics-based stuff like that where you can, like, take out the referee when you're when you're doing a move and stuff like that. Like, that's, a, that's genuinely really cool. Yeah, the game. Stay down, Eddie. Get out of the ring. Can you get weapons? Oh, you can! Excellent! Oh, shit. Eddie says, no, that's mine. No, Eddie! I'm afraid not. Come on, get up. Get up. They impossible, is it? Oh, yes! Now, how do you get out of this fucking cage? That's the next question. Wait, what? You can climb the inside of the cage? That's kind of awesome. Stop whipping me around the place. You're draining my stamina. <laughs> okay. If anyone watching this knows how to break the cage, please tell me and I will I will do my best to do it. I'm not letting you hit your fucking finish on me, no way. Oh, here we go. What, what, what? Yeah, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. Apparently, if you grapple the cage, that's what that's what that animation Triple H was doing there was. All right, let's see if I can just hit Eddie with a finish and just keep him down for a little bit. Is there a... Will help tell me how to get out of the cage? Pin or tear off. I'm assuming tear off might be the door. Nothing specific to this mode. Um, sorry, Eddie. Let me Google how to get out of the hell in a cell while I'm doing this. Let's quickly Google this. Hang on. This is the second time I've had to Google something on this stream, but... How to exit cell. What's this game? Day of Reckoning. On GameCube. It's only on GameCube, actually. Especially here on Super Cheats. Three times in one place. I feel like I did that. Okay. Let's try it. Oh, there we go. Literally, I was one I was one move away. Okay. I like that you can climb on the inside, though. That is actually a really nice touch. Triple H, get up the fucking cage, you asshole. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, 
the game. Suck it, I'm Triple H. Come on, Eddie. Whoa, 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 Eddie, 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 calm down. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Oh, shit. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this. Come on. No, hit him with a pedigree, Triple H. Come on. Yes! Okay, oh god, okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. No, oh, I didn't break the fucking cage. Oh my god. Why? I, wait! They're chanting holy sh in the crowd. Has Eddie clipped through the... He has literally clipped through the fucking... Okay, Eddie Eddie has clipped through the cell. And I fell to my, my death. Let's just beat up the referee while waiting. Oh, Eddie is literally stuck. That is so funny. Hulkamat did say in the chat a while ago that this game is more glitchy. Let's see if I can get out and get him. That is great. That's great! My first time playing this game properly and I fucking glitch it. Alright. I presume I can do a diving attack into the ring here. Yes, but he's still stuck. That's great. Okay, we may need to call Day of Reckoning here, but this is really good. And again, like, like WrestleMania, this WrestleMania 19, this feels really good. All right, try again, Triple H. Come on. No, <laughs> I missed him. I overshot. Eddie, you are... Eddie, you have clipped through existence. Oh, my God. This is so funny. Oh my <laughs> no, Eddie Eddie is floating. Eddie Eddie has, has... So I hit him with the pedigree through the fucking roof. But I fell into the ring, and he is now stuck in, in limbo, in purgatory. Eddie, I'm going to get you out. I'm like that old vine of the guy talking to the cat. He's like, I'm going to get you out of there. I'm going to get you out of there, Eddie. I promise. Okay, come on. All right. How can we How can we aim this? I'm, I'm keep, I keep killing myself trying to fucking... No, okay. Okay, here we go. No! Triple H! <laughs> All right. <laughs> It's gonna be day of reckoning. <laughs> I can't. I literally can't get him out. I literally can't get him out. Okay, that was two matches in day of reckoning, and they were both fantastic. If if slightly busted. Okay, and the main event. The main event. Let's do day of reckoning too. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna definitely want to do another hell in a cell in day of reckoning one. Oh god. I keep having to adjust the aspect ratio on this game, which is very annoying. Now, thankfully, it's easy with the with the um, the hotkeys on on the Steam Deck emulators are all really good, but you know. So yeah, Day of Reckoning Two again. I've I've dabbled with a little bit of this, and my big gripe with it is kind of yeah, that the roster is just not great. Like. Here comes the pain, hits that perfect sweet spot where you've got WCW guys, you've got Attitude Era guys, you've got Ruthless Aggression, quote unquote, guys. Um, you've got a great roster in that, and I, I feel like the um, the later GameCube games, just because that's just the, pro the progression of where WWE was at the time, uh, they. Um, let's do another Hell in a Cell because that last one was so fun. Um, you know. It's just the reality of where WWE was at the time. Let's have a women's match. I haven't had a women's match so far. Like, like actually, let's 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 go through this this roster here and see what I'm talking about. Batista, Big Show, Booker T, Carlito, Chavo, Benoit, Jericho, Masters, Christian, Eddie, Edge, Eugene, Heidenreich, JBL, Cena, Kane, 
Kendo Suzuki, Kurt Angle, Muhammad Hassan, Orlando Jordan, Paul London, Randy Orton, Rene Dupree, Rey Mysterio, Ric Flair, Rob Van Dam, Shawn Michaels, Shelton Benjamin, Snitsky, Tajiri, The Hurricane, Triple H, Undertaker, Regal, and then the, the Divas division, as it was known at the time. Just pretty, pretty weak in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to be Trish. And let's face Stacy. Turn off the entrances again because I don't really care. Hopefully nobody gets stuck in Hell in a Cell Purgatory here. Purgatory in the Hell. Purgatory in the Cell, rather. I, I fucked that up. Um... Alrighty. Good lord, these sound effects are strong. God, Trish fucking putting the boots in. Fucking hell. One, two. I thought that was going to be it. That would have been very funny. Get her, Trish. Oh, this game has fucking stamina, which is a real bummer. I have never and will never like stamina in games. I just never will. I think it's always the most fun killing mechanic imaginable. Stacy just watching me after putting the moves on me. All right, Stacy, let's get out of this cell. Stacy. I just, I'm, I'm trying to think actually as I say this, I'm like, has there ever been a stamina mechanic I liked? I just, I just don't think there has been. Holy shit, Trish. Trish taking no bullshit here. Any weapons in this? Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, oh Stacy, you're in trouble now. God damn, Trish. I assume it's the same rule here. Three times on one section and it'll break. Yes, there you go. Trish taking, taking absolutely just like liberties. Come on, Stacy. They're chatting your name, Stacy. Stacy's not getting up there, she's finally. Man, the music in this thing is brutal. The music in this thing is really bad. Oh shit! Ooh. Oh shit! Oh! oh! Get fucked! Long live the king, Stacy. Okay, do a dive, Trish. Do a dive. Trish, do a dive. Yes! Oh, I got her! Oh, oh, pins only in the ring, I guess. Oh, shit. Oh, Stacy says no, no, thank you. Doesn't work for me, brother. <laughs> the 
air pulled through the table? Oh my god. Terrible. Give, give the women some real moves in this fucking game. Alright. You're going through this fucking roof, Stacey, if it kills the two of us. in the face. Holy shit. Oh shit. Stacy's Stacy's trying to pull it back here and I Oh shit. Get up Trish. Don't let her do her whatever this is. Leveled with the slap. Is that literally her finish? Just a slap. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Nice. This is brutal. Make her tap? Oh god, I'm actually gonna make her tap. Nah, let's let her up. Let's rub. I wanna put her through this fucking cage. But that's not gonna do it. What is this music, man? Holy shit. Are they saying Trish sucks? Was Trish a heal during, during this period? Yes! No. Trish doesn't have any, like, really good high-impact moves to try and get fucking Stacy through the fucking... If she'd fallen off the cage there, that would have been great. Oh, Trish, I really wish you had some, like... Oh, shit! Wait, that wasn't her finish. She That's not what the chick kick looked like. through the fucking hill and she's dead as well i love that i love when you're like you hit a high impact move and both people are dead trish is, is stacy gonna try and do a dive come on stacy do a dive please do a dive please do a dive what's she gonna do oh no she's not she's climbing in come on trish stop selling stop selling put her away put her away Oh my god, Trish, come on. Alright, come on. Oh, here we go. Boom, there you go. Alright, now pin her. Pin her, pin her, pin her. Pin her. Put her out of her misery. There you go. That's a wa that, that That was a wacky match. Okay, those animations aren't great, but it's not it's not it's not a bad looking Trish model otherwise. She's talking shit to Stacy, which isn't very nice. Alright, we'll call it there for Day of Reckoning 2, but that's that's the suite of GameCube games there uh, on Steam Deck. Um
I want to I want to uh, main event with uh, uh, Xbox. So let's do a little bit of PS2 first. Um, I'm always hesitant to do fucking Def Jam Vendetta because I am terrible at that game. But we didn't do it last time, so let's do it this time. And I will get schooled on it as I always do. Although PCSX2 has been giving me some... Oh no, it's fine, it's loading. Give me some issues there lately, but nothing too major. EA Sports. The greatest logo. When you saw that logo, you knew you were getting some good stuff. Used to be. I will. I will do a full playthrough of this game at some stage because I have done Fight for New York. I, I find this game way harder than, than Fight for New York. Let's do a singles here. I won't bother entering an ID. Let's just keep moving. I don't have any unlocked characters in the minute. Let's be Ghostface and we'll go against Manny. Face Club. We'll do a quick round of this. I've done a lot of the heavy hitters for PS2 already in my previous video. Again, I'll, I'll mention it one more time. I did Fight for New York and stuff like that. I don't want to spend too much time on PS2, but we'll do some of the ones I missed. I'm a ghost, man. I can't get broke. They, they changed Manny's voice a lot for the sequel. I don't know why. This is also the... This is the, uh... The Def Jam game that more closely resembles a, uh... A wrestling game. Fight for New York is a... Fight for New York is kind of like a... Oh, shit. It's like a brawler that has a wrestling engine at the core of it. It's not much of an actual wrestling game, I don't think. Also, if you knew somebody who... Who had never played this and you put this in their hands... They would know straight away, based on the controls and, and stuff like that... That this is... This is a... An Aki game, you know? Or it's a Naki engine game. It's I, I, They didn't develop it, I don't think. I think we actually talked about this when I played Fight for New York. I think it was... Uh, a Canadian EA team did this. But with the Aki engine and I think with some small Aki involvement. Oh, I missed my special shit. Ah, shit. I was really hoping I was going to win this, but it's not looking good now. Why is he not doing his finish? Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I shouldn't have said that out loud. All right, Barry, get back in the game. Come on. Oh, shit. Come on, Ghostface. <laughs> that was all I needed. Work the legs, work the legs. Beautiful. Is that an eye rake? Rock bottom? Yeah! He's a beast. In his face, big dog. He is ghost face. Oh. And he breaks the pen. No doubt. 
Oh, maybe I will win this. Oh my god, you arsehole. He, he ran away. What do you want me to do? There we go. I got him. The AI actually does the thing you do in multiplayer, which is run away from your opponent when they have their special. How do I pin? L? Oh, he's in the ropes. This game has fucking rope breaks. Like, that's how much of a fucking wrestling game it is. There we go. The streak is broken. Now I'm now I'm uh, now I'm able to say confirm on stream that I will play this game in full. I got a B, you know that's not too bad. Um, all right, that's uh, that's Def Jam Vendetta. Let's do one SmackDown game and then we'll move on to Xbox. Um, so I was having some technical issues um, last week and I couldn't do Shut Your Mouth. Uh, so. I have technically solved them. I'll explain I'll explain them here as the game loads up. You'll see what issues I was running into. Yeah, so I'm, I'm I keep running into this issue where for some re for some reason, shut your mouth in particular and it is literally just this game uh does not detect the memory card in this system and every other game does this is not this is not a a like oh my emulator is busted or my uh, memory card is corrupted on the system just this game does not detect my uh, uh my uh memory card and better yet you see this option here are you sure you want to start the game it's not letting me pick an option this is an incredibly unique hard to describe problem so i've been trying to google this and troubleshoot it, and literally nothing. I went onto the PCSX2 Discord, which is the emulator that this is. Very helpful. I, I I talked to them about what my issue was, and they had no idea. They had literally no idea how to fix this. Um, this was not always the case. This game used to work perfect for me, um, but it now doesn't. So the so what I did to overcome this was basically if I eject my memory card again, eject it like uh, eject it within the emulator settings, the game boots up fine. And so what I did was I booted it up. Uh, uh, with no memory card, I loaded cheats, which is a whole other process I won't bother explaining because it's 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 really long and awkward to actually get cheats working on an emulator. Uh, and but and then I made a save state. Uh, when I when I had a, a version of this game, so I can load the save state here and go to the main menu. But obviously, a bit janky. Um, and like I said, from googling and talking to people on their Discord, this is not, this is not a common issue. So I don't know if I've just gotten unlucky and they were saying something about a certain path I, uh, on my system being broken um, and it, they didn't have a solution for that. So I think I might have just had a freak accident with this. Um, it's not unplayable. Like I said, if you eject the memory card, it works just fine. But, um, uh, you know, just something to be aware of. Special, why not? I never do cage matches on these streams because cage matches are just terrible in these games. There are no good cage matches. Um, can you... Is there like a backstage? How do you go back? Hardcore is, is, is the one we can go backstage. Let's do a four-way. Uh, just me. Let's just go random. Billy Kidman. Okay, I guess. And Jabroni Overdrive finisher Randy Orton. This is a great match so far. Kevin Nash. Okay. That's actually not bad. And Shawn Michaels. Who I believe we can put in his cowboy hat like his uh, avatar there. Uh, can we start this match backstage? I think we can, can't we? Yeah, here we go. Okay. Um, locker room, I guess. So yeah, that's the one. That's the one kind of technical hitch I've come up against, and it does seem like a real glitch or like technical hiccup on a really basic level. It, it's not like oh, this game is broken or the PS2 emulator is broken. It kind of seems like I've just been unlucky enough to, to bump into that issue. But as you see here, once we actually get the game up and running, um. I mean, up and running is the word. It, it runs great. We've got a, uh, we've got four characters and the referee uh, on screen, and everything's working well. Hey, look at this, JR. 
Oh, there is commentary in this game. I forgot. They're just very quiet. Get fucked, losers. I got a fire fucking extinguisher. This game is a less polished, less deep. Here comes the pain. Which is to say it's really, really good, but it's kind of arcadey, goofy roots in the SmackDown series are are kind of hard to ignore. For example, there's no proper submission system in this game. It still has the old SmackDown 1 through 4, uh, or 1 through 3, I guess, system where it's literally, it's kind of it's kind of a potluck. Like, there's no, um, there's no limb damage system in this game. It's pretty much just, if you, um, if you play a submission enough times, eventually you'll, you'll, you'll get them to tap out. I actually, I forgot to turn on my, uh, my indicators on the top of the screen to, to show my frame rate. But like I was saying, like on all these streams, when it comes to the Steam Deck, other than your little technical hiccups here or there, that, like I described just there with the memory card, generally speaking, it, they run really well. Do you know what I mean? There's not, you're not going to glean too much information from getting my, uh, uh, from, from me putting up the frame rate counter because it's basically always, you know, high 50s. Well, I'll, there I am pinning the referee there. Can I throw Orton into the fucking TV is what I want to do. There you go, yes. Do it again. Oh, no animation the second time. I love how there's, there, there is commentary in this game, but it's like a couple of lines every seconds. Every, every, every few, every like 20 seconds or something. Oh man, I just took a million people out there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the referee is dead. Holy shit. And no blood in this game, which is annoying. Shit, the overdrive! Oh, I can't pick up this pin. <laughs> what a terrible match that was. Holy shit. A great win by Sean in his white t-shirt. That's a pretty good Sean, to be fair. That is a that is a this is a good this is a good looking game. This is a good looking game for its era, to be fair. Uh that's we we, we won't do another one of those. That, I've played this game a lot on stream. Uh You've got an idea of the performance there, um, and I did. I did hear. I did hear. Comes the pain on the last stream, so you can check that out if you want to see it. Here comes the pain. Still phenomenal. Still phenomenal. Um, alrighty, let's jump into Xbox here. Uh, original Xbox emulation is in a very weird place because it's um. The issues you're going to come into with emulating Xbox games, they stem from um the the emulator is still very young in development i guess is the issue so it's not necessarily a case of oh the steam deck isn't powerful enough or oh this game is too taxing it's not really about that it's just kind of a case of the emulator itself is work in progress and there's going to be compatibility issues and what they mean by compatibility issues is is more to do with hey the game is just the, the emulator is just not far along enough yet so uh zemu i believe is uh, x e m u is the name of this uh, emulator they have a uh, compatibility list on their website that you can check. So Raw and Raw 2 are deemed playable. Raw, which we're about to see, this is Raw 1. Their definition of playable and mine are a little bit different. It's, uh, it's a bit rough. Uh, WrestleMania 21, which is the third game on Xbox, is, is listed as broken. It won't even boot. Uh, Raw 2, which is the better game, is actually basically perfect in, in my experience. Um, I'll send that one last reminder tweet here. Oh, let's skip that, because that's going to get us a copyright strike. Twitch.tv. Very nice. 
Right there. One last reminder tweet to everyone that I'm still live. So yeah, again, I, I mentioned earlier that um, that article I read as a kid um, uh, about SmackDown just bring it and how Raw and WrestleMania 19 were also previewed in that same that same issue. And Raw was like it was the stereotypical like we have reached the peak of video game graphics nothing will ever be better than this like the screenshots looked phenomenal and i think for the time this was this is still considered a good looking game but um the game itself ooh baby we'll just take a look here once we get into it and and i really wish this game was great because this is my era of of this is my perfect nostalgia era you know what i mean it's two, it's 2001 it's like pre invasion so you've got all late 2000 early 2001 uh, um roster and and uh, angles oh this this ui is absolutely horrible holy shit let's do hardcore just because i don't want to get dq'd uh pin on blah, 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 blah. interference off dq off yeah Oh, heal Rikishi! Hell yeah! So again, this is this is 2001. So just picture picture 2001 uh, uh, WWF in your head, and the roster is pretty. Oh, who's up? they've got locked characters? I'm actually curious who that would be. Um, the one Billy Gun. Uh, this mu what is this music? Good lord, what is this music? Uh, let's let's do Austin versus Heel Rikishi. As was the style at the time. No managers, thank you. Uh, yeah, so unless I'm mistaken, and maybe I just don't know enough about this game, or I have to play through a story mode or something, um, I think there's no uh, arena selecting. I think it's just in the raw arena. As crazy as that sounds, I think that's the case. These are not bad character models for, for 2001. Let's be fair. Let's be fair. Oh, they gave him the shitty alliance theme. To be fair, he also had this in SmackDown, Just Bring It, by default. His, uh, his disturbed theme is in Just Bring It, but you have to manually go in and change it. Look at how slow this entrance is. But again, seeing screenshots of this in the year 2000 or early 2001 coming from like SmackDown 2, I was like, holy shit, look at this. And it's still, it's still kind of, it kind of looks good. Look at the animated GIF entrance video though. That's not great. That's not great. So again, so this game is listed as playable on the uh, compatibility list for the emulator. I have booted it up prior to this stream. It's it does not run at full speed. This is not this is not intentionally really slow. I think it's running at a low flame uh, frame rate. Oh, we got Heal Rikishi's team. Hell yes. And introducing the opponent from Samoa, weighing in at 423 pounds, Rikishi. Okay, can I? Uh, is there a? Uh, can I see the, uh... So this is running at a 1x resolution as well, by the way. Every every other system I've I've shown off here, you're, you're looking at multiple, uh, fa you know, by multiple factors, do you know what I mean? Like, you're looking at GameCube at 2x resolution, uh, PlayStation 1 at 3x resolution. This game is literally just trying to work at 1. Um... I, I guess I can't... I guess I cannot, um see the um, uh, frame rate. Yeah, this is not this is not running at full. I, I, I suppose I don't, I don't need the, 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 the frame rate counter to tell me this is uh, this is not running at full speed. But again, this is one of those things where this is not a limitation of the Steam Deck. I think this is more kind of um, you know, the 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 emulator. 
Um, how do I get out of the ring of this fucking game? Oh, look how slow this is moving, man. This is... Okay, I, I, I'm pinning a lot. Okay, why is counter? I did I did do the tutorial in this game, so I know that much. No, don't do that, Austin. Oh, this game also has a fucking stamina meter. Great. I cannot remember how you pick up the, the weapons. Okay, but Rikishi does. Holy shit. How do I run in this thing? Oh, the analog stick is to run. Any other weapons around here I can pick up? Hell yeah. Okay. Lots of tables. Holy shit. What was that? Yeah, so this, this, is, this is pretty... Like, they listed it as playable because you can boot it up and you can get into a match. And, like, and I think in the most basic sense of the, of the word, this is playable. Uh, but it's, it's like, not really. Do you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, I'm trying every button combination I can think of here to try and grab these weapons, but here we go. Rikishi, fight, fight me on this table. If I put him through that table, I would be so happy. Oh, my God. Look at how slow this is. Oh, my God. Yeah, so this is... No, put him through the fucking table, Austin, you loser. Oh, my God. Okay, well, you whipped him into the table. That's good. Oh, here we go. Suplex, yes. No. Okay. The game says, ah, ah, I don't think so. You thought, loser. <laughs> Snap man through the table. <laughs> I take it back. This game is actually great. All right. That's that's raw. That's the original raw on Xbox again. Uh, so this is also true of like Xbox 360 and PS3. Um, the progress of the emulator itself is going to affect those things. Like I said, I, I, I don't think that's a Steam Deck speed issue or a hardware issue. I think it's just kind of they're working on that emulator. It'll get better over time. Um, you know. Like, like, a lot of these emulators have just been in development longer. That's why they're further along. It's not a knock on them. They're obviously doing great work getting these things working at all. But these things just take time. Do you know what I mean? And like I said, they have a compatibility list, so you can check before you spend time putting your, your games on your deck. I, if you're going to do Xbox emulation or 360 or PS3, I would, like, check in advance. Go to the emulator's website, and their community will have a list you can check to see what runs and what doesn't run. Don't waste time putting stuff on your, on your deck that's not going to run. Uh, Raw 2... We will uh, jump into this. This is another 2003 game. So this is the um, this is the uh, this is another this is the Xbox version of Here Comes the Pain. Is the really simple way to look at it. And like I was saying earlier, I think this game is mildly underrated. Okay, mildly. I don't think it's perfect, but I think it's I think it's a pretty good game. And um, I think if you didn't have a PlayStation and you wanted this type of experience, I think this was pretty pretty okay. And more importantly than that, for whatever reason, game development is hard and complicated and it's nothing is straightforward. This game runs way better. This game basically runs perfectly on, on the Steam Deck. Um, actually, no, let's, let's do exhibitions. We have more options. Uh, if, this, if this menu looks kind of janky and, and, and slow, uh, it was on original hardware as well. So don't read too much into that. 
Um, there's the Here Comes the Pain music again. The terrible Here Comes the Pain music. Uh, also, if the if the image looks slightly grainy, again, we checked the settings uh, a while ago. Uh, this is all running at 1x resolution. So this is literally just the native Xbox resolution stretched to 720p. So it's not, the, the image is not going to be sharp. Obviously, when you're on... When you're emulating PS2 games or whatever, you can... Um, uh, you can bump the resolution up two times, three times, four times, depending on what kind of hardware you're using. Uh, we are obviously just working with a more limited... Uh, when, you're, when you're on an Xbox, you have more limited options. Um, hmm. Who will we be? Goldberg's in this game. Yeah, of course he is. I don't see him here, though. What order are these fucking wrestlers in? This is inscrutable. Like, what? Steve Austin, Scott Steiner, Batista, like, Mark... H like, what order are these wrestlers in? Oh, we gotta, we gotta fight Tommy Dreamer. I saw you there, Dreamer. You can pick your referee. Let's go Mike Kyoto. Uh, only two arenas, but this has the usual suite of pay-per-views and stuff like that. And again, it's funny, it's funny kind of like remembering reading magazines. And I was talking about like reading about Raw, SmackDown, Just Bring It, and um, Mania 18 in one issue. I remember... Coming up to Christmas, being so excited for um, for SmackDown, here comes the pain, and I had a PS2, so that's what I was getting. But I remember the reviews in the magazines for for Raw 2 were like, "Hey, they got they got it together after that not very good first game, and they made they made a pretty solid effort with two. And again, for the time for 2003, this looked pretty good. This is this is this is a decent looking game, you know. Let's keep our interest. I believe you can. I believe you can break out. Much like you can in more modern WWE games. I think you can run out. I think I can interfere with Tommy's entrance here. I may be mistaken. That might be a different game. Um, uh oh, we're taking a while to load here. I hope the game isn't making a liar out of me and it's after crashing. That would be really bad if it did. Uh-oh, I think it may have. All right, let's restart. Oh, it literally came up just as I pressed restart. I think it's just a bit sluggish. Okay, sorry, I'll try. I'll quick start into a normal game here in a second. Let me skip all this. I love all these shitty video game fucking sexy lady loading screens. Alright, let's just do a quick start here. Let's be Hollywood Rock and we'll go against Heel Undertaker. Uh, this game, not as funny as WrestleMania 19, but this game did also have a very funny season mode. Um, where it was kind of like... Um, here comes the pain where it's basically just a continuing season where you can kind of you can just kind of uh pick places to go like to to talk to people backstage but you can like you can like spring like traps on people like so if you're feuding with like rikishi you can try and like drop a like a, a heavy case on him backstage i'll jump into the season after this match maria thank you so much for stopping by it's a me I've done my share of uh, Mario Trader watch-alongs, and now I can say it's a me with confidence because I'm not the worst person to say it. This rock entrance is so good. It's so good. Oh, this is this is a real. That is a good rock character model. Holy shit! God damn, that's a good rock character model. Holy hell! It is crispy. That is a great, it is a crisp image. 
Am I allowed to interfere in this? I don't think... I think in Raw 1, you're allowed to... Uh... Yes, because I remember that being a big talking point in the in the previews of that game, was that you could break out in the middle of an entrance and fight. Which you can still do that in modern games now, but... All right, here we go. And, like, straight away, look at this performance compared to Raw 1. Like, that's the funny thing about emulation. Like, it really... It really isn't straightforward. Like, it's not a simple case of, you know, the later games that came out are harder to emulate. Like, it's just not that simple. Like, Raw 1 is a very basic video game, and it came out two years before this. But that game runs terribly, and this one runs really well. It's just, emulation's complicated, and I have big respect for the folks who... um who are working on these things because they're awesome and they all do it for free as well that's the i've as i've been um as a man who's done a lot of emulation streams lately and has emulated things on his xbox and emulated things on um on the steam deck um i gotta say that like all these projects are phenomenal and they allow they allow us to play hundreds and thousands of of of, of our favorite classic games um you know, on systems like the Steam Deck, and they do it for free for the most part. A lot of them are doing 9 to 5s. Um, and I, I greatly appreciate them. Just wanted to point out that when I'm saying, hey, you know, uh, original Xbox emulation is not as far along and it's pretty limited. That is, that is not a slight in case anyone thought it was. It is, of course, not. I cannot remember. I, I've played a decent amount of this game in the past because I remember when I got a 360. This game is backwards compatible on the 360. I remember I played a decent amount of it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just standing there and taking it. I can't remember how to Irish whip in this game. Oh, yes. Get up, Brock. Get up, Brock. How the fuck do you do finishers in this game? Oh, shit. Come on, Rock. Oh, nasty. Those sound effects were not nice. I'm just running around like a madman. There we go. There we go. Yeah, just bring it. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. This is just a slug fest. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, Undertaker definitely knows how to do a pin. Oh, here he goes. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, a rock with the cross arm breaker. Holy shit. Let's go. Undertaker says, hey, that's my gimmick. Rock, I wish you knew how to do a finisher. Is there... No, there is not. I'm pressing all the buttons as I like to do. Uh, these two. These two. No. These two. These two. No, nothing. Absolutely no idea. Okay. I 
think it was. Oh, there. Okay, it is. Yeah, it's it, it's X and A. It just doesn't. Okay, this game does not does not give you um, any kind of special indicator. Oh, a double feature. Okay, you literally just do the move. You don't have to fucking. It doesn't say, hey, you have a special. It's like, hey, just do the move. Oh, oh, come on, Undertaker. Put someone over for fuck's sake. No. I'm not taking your fucking finish. You just kicked out of mine. All right, pit him now. Come on. This has got to be it. Oh, referee. That's not Mike Kyoto. I picked Mike Kyoto, didn't I? Oh, no. That was the game we, we, we cancelled. Fucking long count. Long ass count. Alrighty. That's, uh, that's, that's the game. I, I, I want to jump into the season mode of Raw 2. That dog does not care about anything I do. I just pop in to say hello and the dog's like, whatever. Alright. Let's take a look at the, um, what's the Hall of Fame? I don't remember what that is. Oh, it's just high scores and stuff. Okay. Let's do season here, and I'll see if I can show off some of the goofy shit you can do in season mode. Road to WrestleMania. I played that game. Are you sure you want to select original superstar? No, I do not want to do that. Yeah, you gotta you gotta, you gotta try and get some respect from your dogs, but they just do not want to give it up. Let's just be let's be Austin just for ease. Was this post Austin walkout? I think it was. No, he was back at the stage. Actually, no, he was like, he was back. Okay. All right, so. This is like a lot of uh, WWE season modes of this time where you've got like a full match card and you can watch the matches, you can skip the matches. The Rock and Hulk Hogan teaming against Steve Austin and Shannon Moore? What fucking era of WWE is this? But anyway. Well, you can, you can uh, choose to... Oh, here we go. Yeah, okay, so... For each segment of this show, you can do nothing. You can break up the match. You can rest, which obviously, once you if you've done some other stuff, you can uh, rest to regain your, your your health. You can do a surprise attack. You can interfere. Wait, what? I don't know what the difference between breakout and interfere is. Anyway, you can steal stuff from someone's locker room. You can set a trap. Like, look at you can manipulate people. You can encourage people. You can call out people. You can complain. You can do all this stuff, right? So let's let's test some of it out. Let's do a surprise attack on Hogan. But also, it, so we're facing Hogan tonight, so that's why I'm going to pick Hogan. But you can also, like, just do it to anyone. Like, you can just make your own feuds in this game. It's it's really ambitious, and I don't think they quite pull it off. But it's really cool. Let's, let's see if we can jump Hogan. Uh, for this, we will rest. For this match, we will also rest. Uh, we will see if we can steal from The Rock. Uh, and then we will set a trap for Hogan again, okay? Actually, no, let's set a trap for Triple H, because why not? Uh, we will then complain about Hogan. Uh, and then I will rest. All right, now let's see how let's see how this show... You, you also don't have to do something in every single segment, but brother, I'm gonna. Let's take a look. All right, so, like, all these games of this era have this where you have to watch people showing up all the time. There's Triple H with his floating belt. That's, actually, that's a really good Triple H model. Nose in the air Triple H model. So this is me attacking Hogan, right? Here we go, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, get him, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so you can literally just do that all the time. Like, you can just fucking do that. 
Oh shit! Oh, I didn't realize it was a match. Okay. Hell yes! Let's go, boys! Oh yes! Yeah! <laughs> Get fucked, Hogan! <laughs> Get fucked! Yeah, and don't ever fucking look at me ever again and your stupid restaurant. Eat shit! You're, yeah, get fucked! <laughs> oh my god. So, like, this is the that was the first segment of the first show of the first month of season mode and that you, that's just what that, that's just what that season is you can literally just do this over and over and over again um so you can see you've got spirit and popularity spirit is your your energy levels i believe popularity is popularity i think you have to be a certain level of popularity to get a title shot so some of the options you pick if you're complaining and stealing from wrestlers that that gets you negative popularity but it can get you uh, items and stuff we'll see as it as it progresses here So we're obviously not watching them. Um, are you sure you want? Are you sure you want to skip the match? Yes, I do. And kind of like SmackDown 2 season mode, you very you have to click through all the matches, which is part of what part of what doesn't work about about this mode. As as creative as it is, is you have to do this bullshit where you're constantly clicking through. Okay, there I am resting, so that gets my spirit back up. Like you probably don't need to show me him resting. Do you know what I mean? You can probably just you can probably just show my energy meter going up. Do you know what I mean? Like why you have to like go through every match? I don't really know. But again, like I said, there's some cool ideas here, but it's the overall execution is a little bit lacking. Also, you will hear this song a lot because it's it you know. You're on an episode of Raw in this particular season, so it's kind of like you're going to hear the Raw theme. One thing, I do love the FMV background for a wrestling game, because, like, SmackDown Shut Your Mouth has it too. I like it. Just show cool wrestling highlights. That's always that's always a plus, you know? Okay, I'm doing something in this segment, right? I'm, I'm jumping someone. Am I stealing? I'm stealing! So you can just root around in The Rock's crap. Nothing. Damn it. Okay. So you lose popularity for trying to steal things. Oh, no, I didn't actually. No, I lost I lost spirit. But yeah, so every week of every show, you can just start stealing... Uh, stealing crap. And you, I think you do get unlockables. Like, I think creator wrestler items and arenas and stuff, you can unlock this way. Um... What's he announcing? Oh, okay. There we go. I guess that's because I jumped in backstage is that they're, they're changing things on the fly. So on a random episode of Raw, you're getting Steve Austin versus Hogan. Oh my god. I, oh, I missed him. Austin's like, oh, why you? I'm going to get you one of these days. Roadrunner Triple H. <laughs> like so stupid like you are literally wily e. coyote in this mode and the animation when you hit them is great as well like he literally clunks them on the head it's fantastic i'm gonna hit someone with a trap before this stream is over i think i'm complaining now Oh, I went to complain to Hulk Hogan, but he's not here. Okay, never mind. Well, I, I already whooped his ass once, so, you know. If the, if the menu seem very slow, like I said earlier, that, that is just how they were on the original Xbox. Like, this, this, this game basically runs perfectly um, relative to how it ran at the time. Do you know what I mean? All right, rest. Rest up, Austin. You've been doing non-stop hijinks backstage. Oh, me and Shannon Moore are friendly now. Great. What a random episode of, of Raw this is. 
Listen, the fans watching this, the boom period would be back if Austin was still doing this, you know? All right, and now we'll, now we'll get into an actual match. I tried to steal from you, Rock, but, but, but the gods of fate conspired against me. I'll just have to make do with beating you in the ring. They got their old, ma you know, motion graphics from the time. These are moving a bit slow, actually. This might be, this might be choking a little bit, but, you know. Oh, this is definitely getting copyright strike. Let's skip that. Let's skip that. But, you know, fair play. They got it. They got the song, but... You ain't hearing it on my stream. You ain't hearing it on my stream, brother. No fucking way. Shannon Moore and his little version one entrance. What? 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 I whooped your ass already, old man. What? Stopping a mud hole in you? I wish you knew how to Irish whip in this game. Oh, it's R1. Okay. Or not a, a right bumper, I guess it would be on the original Xbox. I'm also... It's, it's so confusing because I'm using a, a, a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller to play this. Yeah, get fucked! <laughs> get fucked, Hogan! Shannon Moore, you want to get a piece of this fucking guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, Austin. Come on, Austin. You, you already whooped him once. Oh, shit. There you go, there you go, there you go. Look, look at that animation, it's so funny. How do I tag? Shannon, Shannon, do you want to tag? How do I tag you, Shannon? Shannon, tag me. Oh, I don't know how to tag. No, I'm not getting suplexed by you, Hogan. Sorry. No, oh, Hogan knows how to tag. Dang it. Get up, Austin. Do your finisher at least. Come on. I believe it is called the kitchen sink in this game. I believe that is... I mean, that's just what it's called. I don't care what Lance Storm says. That's that's what that move is called. Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. I love the double feature. That's genuinely really great. All right, let's see if I can tag in Shannon Moore here. R1, okay. Shannon, what are you doing? Do a move to the rock. He's in the ring with you, brother. All right, that's, we'll, we'll, we'll call it there because this might go on forever. Um, that is... That is Raw 2 on the original Xbox. Um, yeah, again... If you are interested in Xbox emulation on your Steam Deck, check the compatibility list because some games, a lot of games, just simply don't work yet. So, but yeah, Raw 2, underrated, uh, underrated little game. Um, 
Uh, my MAME is not working super well. Um, so there are wrestling games on MAME, but um, kind of like Dreamcast, which I'd fucked up on my last stream. I have, uh, I think I've fucked up my MAME set, my own, my own fault somehow. So we'll come back to that uh, some other time. Uh, let's do just just to show that it does work on the Steam Deck. Let's do some. Uh, Let's do some DS and some PSP uh, again because those systems work fantastically on um, uh, on the uh, Steam Deck. Uh, and the DS, um, uh, the DS also um, has a touchscreen, so uh, this game does not use the touchscreen very much. But if you come, if you're thinking of playing a DS game that uses the touchscreen a lot, like GTA Chinatown Wars, uh, Steam Deck works fantastic with it. Yeah, remember, look, there was a couple of years there where it was SmackDown vs. Raw featuring ECW. Uh, yeah, so for this uh, emulator, what you can do is you can just press R2 to switch what screen you want big and what one you want small. Um, story mode, we're not going to do story mode in this fucking game. I've played a little bit of this, it's not good, but it, ru it runs well, but the game is not good. Oh, shit, I went back. I'm, I'm mixing up my Nintendo buttons here. I should press A. Oh, let's try a fucking... Let's try a TLC in this game. Uh, I'll be um Umanga. Jack Swagger. Oh my god. Let's be Umaga versus Jack Swagger. Let's do it. Smackdown versus ECW. That is the Backlash 09 arena. I recognize that. There they are. The lads. The lads. <laughs> we all remember this banger, don't we? <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, this game has some kind of card system. I don't understand it. Again, I've just booted it up to make sure it works. This, is, this, this game looks pretty good for a DS. I know the DS was no slouch, but this is a, this is a decent looking DS game. Uh, I, I so yeah, I, I I have played this game briefly. It is it is not very good. Like, doesn't this just look like uh, Attitude or Warzone? Like in terms of how it moves. This is another one where I'm going to say right now, do not get your hopes up for me to finish this fucking match, because... Oh, shit. What, 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 what even happened there? But again, one, one thing I'm kind of... Oh, shit. Wrong button. One thing I'm trying to do with these streams is just kind of illustrate, like, hey, these systems work on on steam deck that's kind of the main the main thing so even though this game is not very good i hope you can kind of take from this and go oh cool like i can play i can play actual good ds games on on the steam deck uh you can technically play uh how do how the fuck do i how do i get out of the ring i want to get out of the ring and get a weapon oh jesus there we go uh, you can technically play 3DS games, but I have found the results, uh, performance-wise, to be very mixed on those. Uh, in general, 3DS is... The consensus I've seen uh, from people who do a lot of emulation online is that the best way to play a 3DS is still... Oh, nice! On an actual 3DS. Um, 3DS emulation is, is, is surprisingly taxing. Pick, or how do you pick up? I'm trying to figure out all the different rules in these games. Playing them all on one stream is crazy. Do you know what I mean? Nice. No commentary, no music, just just crowd noise. Again, very attitude -y, Just a very low a a a crowd hum. Although attitude at least had fucking uh, commentators. But whatever, the DS was limited, you know what I mean? This, this actually, like I said, this actually looks okay for a DS game, I have to say. Oh, shit. Oh, press B to recover, Umaga.
Where are the, the ladder and the table and whatnot? Down in B, maybe? No. Oh, shit. I have no idea how to pick up weapons in this. Again, you know, maybe uh, if you want to play games like... Oh, shit. Swagger knows how to pick them up. If you're considering playing games like this, perhaps uh, Google the controls. That's 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 DS emulation. You 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 get the vibe. Um, we'll do a little PSP as well, just to kind of illustrate that. Hey, you know, PSP runs. Um, Dreamcast, we've already done. Oh my god, I have so much stuff on this fucking thing. PSP. Uh, I don't have any WWE games. Let's do the Impact game, folks. Um, this is a decent version of the Impact game. This is basically just this is basically just a lower res version of it. It it, it has the same basic mechanics. Um, and it, uh, performs pretty well. Um, you can tell straight away from these loading screens that, okay, it's a little bit lower res because it was on the PSP screen, but the very fun mechanics from the console game are there. Do you know what I mean? Um. You do Super X Cup? I don't remember any of that. Let's be AJ, and we'll go against Sting! Okay, wow, I just clicked random. And we will, of course, go to the impact zone. Uh, so you can play... Um... Oh, man, these are so compressed. So you can run PSP at, I think, three times the normal resolution of a PSP, which is great. But the entrances and these intro videos, they're all pre-rendered videos. So they look kind of small and grainy and they're blown up. So it's... they don't look great, but they don't look terrible, you know. Like, that's a cool-looking entrance, but because it's a pre-rendered video, you can tell it's all... Uh, it's a bit pixely and artifacted, because it's literally just a video of the entrance from a better system uh, shrunk down and, and squeezed onto a PSP. But, you know, whatever. Ah, uh, Don West on commentary. The great Don West. There we go. Oh! Yeah, I think the most notable thing about this game when it when it came out, other than being TNA's first game, is that it had a it had the incredibly smooth uh, reversal animations. Can I do a little? Oh shit! So you kind of saw one that Sting did to me there earlier. Yeah, there's another one, see? So it's kind of like they 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 did unique animations for basically every um every move in the game, if I recall correctly, and it, they are they are genuinely really impressive. I'm trying to remember the controls of this. I'm trying to remember the controls, but then also remember that this is the PSP version, so you don't have any you don't have any R2 or L2. There we go. Okay. Oh, Sting says no! The Stinger says no! The crowd reactions are very funny. Oh, see, there's one of those reversals right there! This- this- this game holds up quite well, if I- if I'm being honest. Oh, you missed, AJ. You missed. Oh! So, yeah, obviously, this is a, a little lower res and a little, um... Oh, shit. It is not as shiny as the, uh, console counterpart. Oh, damn. But it's pretty good looking on the PSP, too. Obviously, you can play the console version on the Steam Deck as well. Like, you can, you can absolutely... 
play the um, the PS2 version of this, and probably the 360 as well. I, I I haven't tried that myself, but uh, if you are interested in Xbox 360 emulation on this, you can do it, and apparently it's actually pretty good. But you you would have to install Windows on that. You cannot. Um, I I seem to only be doing one move. I need to I need to branch out a little bit here because things sting, the stinger has got me figured out. Uh, yeah, so you have to install Windows to do um, to do Xbox emulation, Xbox 360 emulation rather. Uh, and I just, I haven't bothered. I I I I may at some stage, but I have not yet bothered. Oh shit. AJ says, no, not yet. How do I get out of the ring of this? Can I get out of this? Yeah, here we go, here we go. Oh, Sting's coming for me. Run, AJ! Run! Man, these sound effects are intense. Sorry, Stinger. Somebody check his phone. He's not moving. Showing no respect. He's got the cover. I have no idea how to do finishers in this. I have my finisher, but I don't know how to do it. I just did a bump for no reason. Oh shit, Sting the Stinger's got his finish. And he's gonna know how to do his. Oh, I've I've lost mine. Oh, Stinger! Oh! It's an honor to lose to you, Sting. Oh! Oh shit! He's fucking really finishing me off. Holy shit! Oh no! I thought he was going for the scorpion, but he was just hitting me in the balls. Sting, just finish me off, man. Oh! Oh shit! Sting, pin me, man. Pin me. I'm done. I'm done. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, Sting missed, but that's fine. He's old. Him again. Out a now. Oh God, Sting is just too fast. I remember, I do remember a criticism of this game at the time being that you had very limited amount of moves. Oh shit. Your Beautiful. Pin him. No, AJ, get back in the ring, you fucking idiot. The oh! <laughs> what a terrible finish! <laughs> I just got out of the ring, got back in, and he pinned me on the way back in. Classic TNA. But yeah, there you go. PSP runs absolutely perfect. Um, maybe TNA Impact hasn't aged super well, but it was fun at the time, it was. Um, and I think that's going to do it for this stream. We've got nearly four hours. Um, yeah, pinning and ring out uh, being on the same button. Not, not great, folks. Not great. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll call it there. I did want to just squeeze in at the very end some DS and PSP. Just because it's like, hey, the system can do them. So let's squeeze them in here in our wrestling roundup. Obviously, the wrestling games themselves aren't really what you'd want out of DS and PSP. But they're there. You, you, can, you can play those systems is the main point. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, this is going to be the last stream I do before Christmas. So on that note, I will say Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you're celebrating or observing, or if you're observing nothing, have a nice 24th and 25th of December. Um, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Uh, as mentioned, as always, uh, I will put in the bio or the description, I should say, on the YouTube videos, uh, the links to all the uh, guides I use to set up this stuff on the Steam Deck. 
It's great stuff. The Steam Deck is fantastic. I absolutely love it. Um, uh, uh, and, and the emulation is um, uh, just one extra treat. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching and saying hello. Happy holidays. Take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you all very, 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 very soon. Bye, guys.